Yes. All right. As the party kind of starts digesting this meal, this this kind of it's not a full feast, you know. This they're on scarce times. There's a lot of really stressful stuff going on with their with their warriors all kind of paralyzed right now. Um, but as you digest this food, you realize that the natives have really understood the magical herbs and the uh, fauna that can be found all over this for all over this island and you find yourselves with the capabilities of a long rest having been taken um just for consuming the food by their treasured secrets of how their uh uh their culinary expertise the party is gearing up to head out uh the um Bronson, uh, which we had a fantastic name for, kind of saddles up with the uh, four individuals he's kind of trusted to uh, guide uh, towards the tree where they had the issues. What's everyone doing? So wait, we're leaving town towards a tree? I believe so. Um, the tree. You were going to go inspect so, where all of the uh, all of the oh, natives. Oh, the became broken, paralyzed. the broken monolith was inside of it. Yes. Gotcha. Okay. Okay. I say, uh, you guys go get the chicken in the tree. I gotta do something real quick. Uh, I'll be right back. And then I, I peter off back towards the village. Uh. And I'm going to say, <laughs> all right, uh, well, I'm going to go, I'm going to transform into my wild eagle. I'm going to go do a lap, see what's all around the area, and I'll catch up with you guys. The back owl up at becomes the an eagle, and all the natives kind of flinch, and then you... I thought we left! <laughs> you guys are heading off now, yeah. Oh, okay. And we still have the, the what, the four natives with us? The guy without a tongue, and then yeah. the other... I definitely would have... I don't think I could have stayed in wild shape form throughout the entire night. Uh, you got the long rest from the feast. Oh, I see. I see what you mean. Okay. Ask the party. Go ahead. Okay, I, I was wondering what what the, what the time was here. Okay, that's fine. Then, so then yeah. It's still, yeah, it's still nighttime. Then? Yeah, it's it's yeah. I thought early we slept. Evening. Sorry, it's early evening. Okay. Very well. Okay. Um, Bisbin is still in deep uh, like prayer as he is contemplating what what spells would be best useful in this scenario. So he is okay. taking that long rest to prep his spells. Yep, yep, yep. Kind of going through his holy scriptures of the Storm Father and doing stuff like that. Mm -hmm. Fridi, what you up to? You, you, you look like yet? Okay. Uh, as he's you... just probably chilling and playing music. Okay. While she waits. All right. As the party moves into the forest you hear the scratchings and scrapings of this strange ostrich chicken thing uh <laughs> and it still hasn't managed to get free of the of how you guys bound it to the tree and as it looks as you guys kind of come to the clearing it looks up gives it some food from the feast roll animal handling oh no <laughs> <laughs> Uh, hang on, where is that? Uh, da, 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 da. 17. 17, all right. Um, it kind of gives you the stink eye, but it does take the food and kind of calms down a bit, kind of looking around, kind of ruffling its feathers Remember, a little bit. Remember, we're friends. <laughs> Petting it. <laughs> <laughs> all right, the yeah, party. How good is a chicken's memory? <laughs> A somewhat better attention span food. than a goldfish, you know. <laughs> uh, the party gears yeah. up. The natives kind of watching this. I'm still gonna ride the chicken, this. just saying. Mm -hmm. it, yeah. Getting onto the back of the chicken. Uh, the party begins heading off to the <laughs> southeast, into the mire. Um, Mentoroso. Go on. So I, I kind of wander into the village and I look around to see if there's any uh, furniture or just things that are left outside. Yeah, the long uh, table looking, is kind of still laid yeah. out. 
okay, I'm looking for things that are easily lit on fire, which I feel like is the is most of the the city. Most of the um, city, yeah, most of the village. Uh, all like kind of wooden huts, kind of lifted up on stands, on um. Yeah, perfect. Okay, on poles. So I started grabbing like chairs and like little tables and whatever, and just pieces of wood that's left out, and I start arranging it into a sign that reads "So long and thanks for all the fish." Okay. Uh, <laughs> all right. Uh, they're all kind of <laughs> mutedly watching you and kind of going about their business. Uh, eventually, the the um, the old uh, wife of the chieftain kind of comes out and kind of just starts watching you, a little confused. Uh, I kind of, I, so after I put it all together and I have it spell out, thanks for all the fish, I kind of like wipe the, the dust off my hands and I produce flame in my right hand. <laughs> the village grows still. <laughs> uh, and I just kind of like, uh, do I see uh, Tara at this point? You would see me, yeah. So so now knowing that it's not the next day, I would have just stayed an owl and okay. gone yeah, around. Yeah. So you'll see me in owl form, just kind of sitting on one of the rooftops, waiting to see what problem you're going to cause for me to come solve. Okay. Uh, so yeah, I see her and I wink and then I light all of the furniture on fire. So now there's a giant burning sign in the middle of the town that says so long and thanks for all the fish. Chaos erupts. Um, okay. people start Great. running around, uh, people <laughs> with like water come out and then kind of see you standing there, Minturoso, and they're like, what are we I like doing? nod towards it. I, I just nod towards the fire. I go, well, you better hurry up. <laughs> I uh, I'll take the cue as people are doing that. I'm gonna I'm gonna slip behind where like they can't see that I'm an owl form. I'm gonna pop into Terra and I'm gonna take a drink of Harmony water. Okay. Uh, roll a Wisdom I... save first and foremost. Okay. And what is har Harmony water? It is the deification? It's a secret. Of... Okay. <laughs> no. <laughs> it's 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 yeah. It's pretty much Harmony uh, Harmony juice that like soups me up and makes me super golden. That's when you're like, do you have something to make you shiny? I was like, yes. <laughs> okay. So uh, you just look like a goddess now, basically. Maybe, uh, so I rolled a 21. Okay, so you're fine. You don't go insane. Okay, um, great. You're, all, your, all your vision kind of, you know, you can see your peripheries really well. Uh, all the golden hues start coming out. You can mm -hmm. tell that these are natives and the like. Um, can I can I say that my that my tattoo that I've been imbuing with harmony water while it was healing also glows. Sure. Cool. I do so. have to ask. Okay. What's because up? I have this image in my head. Does she basically look like the gods from Hercules? Like how they all had that glow. Like they were all very shiny. And they glowing. were very shiny. Yeah. There's, yeah, there's an element. That, of that. is the image in my the head. Like glow. just this like, ha, ah, you know, like there she is. <laughs> I just, I just imagine like the tattoo shines, the the eyes turn a flat gold mm -hmm. with my tear stains turning gold, and then my horns, yeah, uh, which I take the druid craft off of one of them, and they and turn into gold two, as well. Right? Mm -hmm. yeah, yeah, now I have two full ones. Yeah, that's awesome. You step out and um, and you uh, kind of take in take in the room, uh, the the scene, the fire, even the fire, uh, is not even see-through. It's just this strange illusion of withering, uh, writhing gold flame. Uh, and so then what I'm going to do is I'm going to jump down from whatever building I was on top of, and mm -hmm. I'm just going to cast Gust to okay. put out the fire. You cast Gust, and this huge, like, fire splits through it, uh, and all the fire, like, writhes up and kind of collapses on itself, kind of going out and all of the natives seeing you like freeze and then just quietly start like getting down on their knees. I would like to announce uh, while looking at the fire that's out, huh, well, that's not what I wanted to happen. And then I turn and I turn to face uh, Tara and I go as lo loud enough for as many people nearby to hear Harmony again? Why can't I ever have any fun? Okay, at this point, let's get a performance check at advantage. 
Oh dear. From who? Can I From... convince you to let me uh... make a deception check? <laughs> <laughs> yes. Hell yeah. <laughs> and let's get a performance from Taylor and a deception from Interoso. I rolled a, I rolled a 23. Okay. 23 as well. Okay. Everything stops. You can vaguely hear the like low hiss of the gators in the you know in the behind the behind the scenes kind of crawling around. Uh, the elder, not the elder, sorry, the um, chieftain's uh, mate, kind of takes her staff down and like breaks it in half and pulls out this strange uh, black liquid. Um, and you're, you're seeing a bit of culture, uh, that you haven't seen from the natives yet. And she starts right, kind of scraping in the dirt and moving this stuff around. And, and she starts, uh, this kind of wailing chant. Um, and the other ones kind of get down on their knees, uh, or go from their knees to kind of this lying prone state, light roll over on their back and also begin, uh harmonizing this wailing scene um and in your deifically enhanced state uh tara you can see the sound uh specifically this sound um and you feel an effect actually mm. um you don't fully understand what they're saying um it's in some kind of ancient kind of like what we would call latin um and uh and you feel harmony's attention which a dangerous yeah <laughs> because harmony needs to be focusing on keeping gent trapped right but you feel this flicker of attention um all right Okay. What do you guys do? Wait. Okay. Okay. How is that? Can I? Can I yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay. I'm gonna go. I'm gonna go with my stuff now. Uh, I am fully distracted by them. I am sure. <laughs> uh, <laughs> Tara's Tara's just gonna let out this like far more confident laugh than anything that she's ever done before. Just like, <laughs> oh, you're silly. I'm not harmony, but I am here to take his place. And I am here to tell you all that what you are doing to Harmony is wrong and it is full of hatred and you have been led astray and that is why you have creatures like this and I point at Mentiroso full of hatred. I'm a cat! Full of <laughs> hatred and causing fires. And yeah, it's a, you, you portrayed yourself as a devil so I'm also portraying you as a devil. Mm -hmm. uh, this no, no, devil... No, I'm just messing around. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> yeah. This devil that you have brought into your town, into your culture, by the way that you mistreat the person that you say that you love. This is what love brings. This is what caring for your God brings. And I'm going to go over to Mentiroso. And <laughs> hopefully he's playing along with me. And I'm... <laughs> I'm going to I'm going to place my hand. I'm going to well not my hand actually. I'm going to take my antlers and I'm going to place them against his head. And I'm going to use druid craft to like pick up all the leaves around. Uh and as the druid craft is doing that, I'd like it to lift uh dandelion seeds okay. out of my pouch. And then I'd like to cast plant growth. And have all of these golden dandelions yeah, a golden come up just, and swirl around us. Yeah, just start just start moving around. Um some of them turning to their final state of existence. And mm -hmm. uh so these golden little wisps begin kind of flowing around. Mintodoso, what do you do? I I just kind of whisper under my breath so that only Tara can hear. And I say, Did you know that your antlers are glowing right now? Yeah, it's pretty cool, right? I, okay, cool's one word for it. It's just not something I was expecting. <laughs> Are we changing the lie? Because I'm fine with it. I just need to know. You said I was going to make you good. I'm trying to make yeah. you good with love and friendship. I thought you also said you were Harmony. No, I was saying that I'm going to embody Harmony. I'm going to become Harmony's 
next in line. I never said I was Harmony. I think I'm too dumb to understand the difference. It's okay. You're doing great, hon. <laughs> so Just what do you pretend do? to be good now. <laughs> Uh, I let out just a guttural moan. <laughs> okay, okay, you let out a guttural moan. Um, the natives all kind of stand up, and uh, you watch the the uh, the songstress um, quickly like she pulls out this strange shell and begins singing into it. Um, can I can I say one more thing after he becomes good? I'm gonna I'm gonna turn back around after this and I'm gonna be like your elders are lying to you. All of you. Not just here, but across this entire island. I am born from harmony. And those antlers that they put into their heads and into your fellow companions are from torturing him and are taken by force. Uh -uh. This is not how you love. And that's how we're all ended. Okay. It all kind of fades. Um, you're still in your ascended form for a little while longer. Minteroso, you're up. What do you do? Uh, I'm going to just kind of like droop everything and then big shudder <laughs> and then look up and then look confused, which I'm really good at. And I'm going to turn around to all the scorched uh, tables and chairs and go, oh no! Oh, oh, oh no! Did I do this? <laughs> I did this? Everyone is in shock because this is the, the demon that has tormented them for years and years and with a casual miracle you've come in and <laughs> altered him. Casual miracle. And, uh, I, a <laughs> casual, <laughs> I want to start putting all the tables and chairs back. Okay. All right. But I just real quick uh, at the DM's discretion here, while I'm putting stuff back, can I quick perception check to see if anything looks valuable and nearby that I can steal? Hmm. All eyes are on you. You do spot a lone, um, potion bottle of some kind it would take a really high sleight of hand to be able to pinch it thoroughly you see it kind of have... on this shelf on the outside of this area um where the sings where the songstress is just happens to be watching um tara and and singing into her her little shell Okay, I'm gonna make a mental note of that bottle and okay. then continue to put stuff away. Okay. And then, as soon as I'm done finishing the last thing, I'm gonna look at um, the nearest, you know, native, I guess, or just, I guess, the, the old lady who runs the place, mm -hmm. wherever she is. D does she have a name? Did we pr uh, establish her name? Her last name time? is Arenia. Okay, I'm gonna look at Arenia and I say, I say, uh, Dearest faithful Arenia, <laughs> I deeply apologize for all the inconveniences that I have brought upon this land, but I can make only one more request before I leave. Do you have any food for the road or possibly a magic potion that might help in my endeavors to clear this land of evil? She, she kind of, in a grandmotherly sense, kind of goes up. She just vibe checks you. She's gonna make an insight check. It's a Pats your head. Nope. <laughs> <It> walks away. <laughs> <laughs> that is a nine on an insight check. So she, uh, she kind of hook, line, and sinker just kind of cups your cheek and goes, Oh dear. I'm so happy. This makes me joyous. And she kind of, uh, uh kind of yells at the kid. <laughs> who scurries off and comes back with um, a, a greater health potion. It is not the same potion that you saw, but um, comes back with a greater health potion. This one is, is green looking, um, whereas they're normally either like a pinkish or like a clear. Um, this is a green greater health potion? Yeah. Is 
after. Okay, so it's still just a normal greater health potion. Yeah, yeah. Okay. Uh, after uh, he's requested that sort of thing, I'm gonna I'm gonna draw attention back towards myself, and I'm just gonna go. I was just gonna. Go, that is what harmony touched is. All that of the is what... the children approach first. Um, all of the natives kind of, all of the the uh, older generation of natives kind of either in shock and looking to the chieftain's mate, the shaman's mate for guidance or like undecided and kind of like looking around and confused um a kid kind of comes up and like offers you like a potato <laughs> <laughs> and uh i'm just gonna go thank you so much for your offering you need this food more than i ever could pushes the potato back on back. all right i'll take the potato another one <laughs> another i'll one. take i'll take one of my little bracelets of beads and okay. I'll give it to the child. <laughs> she does a little cartwheel and runs <laughs> off. Another, uh, just children just start coming up and just giving you things. Anything from like a rock to like they found a lizard, you know? Uh, and I'll, I'll trade small okay. rocks off that I've collected. Is it, safe, is it safe to say the village is distracted? Yes. I would like to try to take that first Roll a sleight of hand. You kind of make your way down to the side, bemoaning your your uh you know your your misdeeds, and then you kind of once you're a little closer, you get kind of quiet, kind of looking around. Twenty one. Twenty one. You palm the strange bottle, <laughs> and uh, as you do so, right as you kind of stash it, the songstress turns to you and goes, "What would you like to be called now?" <sighs> Aragorn. <laughs> okay. <laughs> All right. <laughs> she's still, she's she kind of chews on it. And she goes, yes, yes, Aragorn. Changed of Harmony's kin, or I'll come up with some. She goes, Harmony's I'll come up with something touched. better for the name of the song. It'll be lovely. <laughs> <laughs> yep, you should. And then I just kind of like sidle away. <laughs> the elder. And the songstress kind of approach Tara. Um, the songstress with tears in her eyes. Uh, the elder going, My mate never would have saw this coming. We, we left. Uh, we traveled through the spine to escape certain atrocities whilst clinging to our older traditions we couldn't have known that this was coming we don't deserve to be the new chosen kin this seems like an important name as you know harmony loved the natives and they mm -hmm. saw him as her uh, harmony saw them as their chosen people this seems to be like the new chosen people um, what would you have us do? Just think about questions. I am currently working towards freeing harmony from those of the natives that have imprisoned and tortured him. So, if you know of others that share his love and are unaware of what is happening please spread word she looks to the songstress and she nods uh fervently all right anything else you want to do I... before we jump over to the other party yes i would like to get behind tara and just very quietly in a tongue they don't understand say have them repent by leaving out gifts once a year <laughs> Why do you need them to leave out gifts? <laughs> I don't need them to do anything. Just like I just want them shoulder. to. <laughs> <laughs> I just want them to. I'm just gonna smile at him and look back and just go. Once a year, please make sure to take care of your neighbors. 
and those next to you. Oh, that's and gonna give get translated in all sorts other. of fun ways. All right, awesome. And I just look back, and I'm like, and make sure to invite and take care of my Harmony Touched. Harmony Touched. Aragorn, apparently. <laughs> All right. Excellent. I must be on my way. <laughs> All right. You begin making your way back to the party. Party! I smell smoke. Do you? Is there a fire somewhere? <laughs> You, I mean, you do actually smell smoke. <laughs> uh, you see a small, I don't know how you did that, but uh, <laughs> you look off and you, and you see in the direction you're traveling, this small, um, small thin line of black in the otherwise gray sky. Um, I think she met the furniture, Fat. Yeah. Oh, true. <laughs> I did, but this is great. True. I was no, but go on. Give us your secret. Absolutely. Yeah. <laughs> We're already put, down like... this hole. I see the smoke. Oh, yeah. yo, look, the smoke off that way. Oh. <laughs> That's better. So now we're not trying to be like, why is the village burning? <laughs> <Runs back. laughs> oh, no. <laughs> um, Make a perception check, check for D. <laughs> Uh, are, are me and Tara back with the party yet, or are not we still yet. walking? Not yet. Okay. You're, but you're on your way. Cool. Ah, uh, ah, uh, ah. Uh, Tell everybody. Uh, 17. Wow. 17. Oh, moon. Oh. Thank you, Tom Tom. <laughs> oh, that was much faster than the last time you tried to do a moon. <laughs> but I made the I had a lot of prep time to work with today, so I made sure <laughs> everything sure? was actually like set up. You don't, you don't, need, you don't need Jake's hand over there? Nope, Thaddeus, Atla not Thaddeus, Thaddeus, Thaddeus Atlas said, did we just make a Santa Claus myth? <laughs> no, we yes. just made Aragorn it's, Santa Claus. That's what we it's, did. No, uh, Santa Claus. It's, it's a Halloween. It's a Halloween myth. Aragorn is the spirit of the harvest now. Oh my god. Ah. Oh, so known as ear also known as ear of corn. Uh, <laughs> yes. I am ear of corn. Spirit of the harvest. <laughs> gets horribly translated they're like oh no i'm a bunny they got cussed and they're like i'm confused <laughs> all right what was that perception chart 17 I think yes okay um strange rings uh so it's you got your you got your stream of black smoke and little smoke uh rings kind of around the streak of smoke does anyone speak fire signals? <laughs> no, Brady. Because because I don't think I do. <laughs> what are you? Wow, that's such cool about? shapes. <laughs> Look at the fun shapes. <laughs> I want to learn how to do that. <laughs> it's probably just another ritual that the villagers do all the time. Have we not seen this smoke is before? Off to the this is smoke, off the but never you're circle heading. smokes. It could be another village. <laughs> you're right. You're right. It's in the yeah. direction we're going, though. Maybe they're trying to light the tree on fire, and the tree is communicating to us. Where's Tara Ooh. when we need her? She would know do this. I, do any of the villagers <laughs> seem to notice the smoke or react to it? Uh, now that she is talking about it, they kind of look up. And you watch uh, Bronson kind of, and uh, the, you watch the four other native warriors kind of crouch and start scouting. They start moving into the hey, brush. Hey. <laughs> See, they know what's going on. It's fine. That's not comforting, Probably. though. <laughs> Brittany's gonna crouch and go with one of them. Okay. Okay. Like, it wasn't comforting to me to have a villager here with me in the first place. Good riddance. <laughs> it's been do the thing, and she's gonna mimic their moves Brady as she starts, follows. Brittany starts <laughs> moving into the underbrush with uh, with the natives. Um, when Tara in Rome, do as the Romans do. Able to fly. 
Uh, yeah, I would be coming back to the group how, as an owl. Wait, wait, how are you crouch? Are you? Did you dismount the chicken, or are you like hunched no, down the chicken as it's like on the chicken just crouch, trampling <laughs> you through the underbrush? <laughs> I will be sneaky. <laughs> <laughs> Still time. The one with nature. My name is Brittany. We'll see. Keep going in, in, a, in the direction you crouch, we were. Your name tag disappears. Anyway. <laughs> <laughs> um, as the party gears up to move forward, Owl Terra comes into the clearing. Um, I will also say from this clearing, you can see two of the five city-sized trees moving about. Oh, I didn't know there were that many. Mm. <laughs> There's five. Mm. Yeah. Oh. Uh, and Tara would be able to see the rest of them, too, because she's flying above the tree line. Um Lauren, I held it, held it back, but you went for it. <laughs> Hang on, my cat's digging in my purse. She opened it. Uh -oh. uh, as um, Fizbin watches the owl oh. that is Tara come back, uh, he feels a little on his neck, just a little prick. No. Make a concert. <laughs> Do I see a dart sticking out of his neck? A very small one. Looks more like Wait, a, darts? Looks Who got like it? Why? You're good. Uh, <laughs> you're with the natives. <laughs> Actually, let's... We're being attacked. <laughs> uh, constitution, you said? Con save, yes. Uh, 14. 14? Uh, you, fall, you fall asleep. <laughs> Tear! <laughs> I think if we just keep going and pull. What oh, happened? Birdie! What did you do? Birdie turns around what? and sees. He's, he's been just. Like, he drops and, and Thrain Romini is just like. <laughs> is my name tag gone? <laughs> I'll start looking around as much Wait, as I so can. Wait, so we are being now. attacked? Um. You don't see from where. Okay, Bridie's going to take a can rope I, can I <laughs> tie attempt, it around Fizbin. Can I attempt to see what's chicken. wrong with him? Can I like make yeah, some sure. checks? See? Yeah, sure. That'd be a medicine check, right? Uh-huh. Which I am. I imagine the dart sticking out of his neck would be the thing that's wrong with him. The... Well, yeah, but like just <laughs> yeah, try to see yeah. he's got to earn this. Yeah. <laughs> what kind of, what specifically ails him? Because if it's like a... If it's like a I magic, able, or if it's like I a might poison. be able to cure it with lay on hands, but mm -hmm. I have to see what, like what exactly. <laughs> Still like, I don't know. father. Smite. What direction did it come from? Did we see or no? Uh, no. No one's seen the thing in his neck yet either. That oh, is... I thought I thought Thrandu asked. You're right. Uh, yeah. You yeah. can see a small, uh, thorn-like needle. Oh, neck. so it's like tiny. Ooh. Yeah, it's real small. Ooh, thorn like. So that's a 12. twelve. Oh gosh, dang it. <laughs> cool. Yeah, he's snoozing. Um <laughs> that's all you do, do a Can slap. I do uh, a check on the dart itself? Yeah, sure. What kind uh, of check? like a let's go with a medicine check. Oh, no, can no, I no. help as an owl? Yeah, that sure. one's eight that one's eighteen. <laughs> 18? Yeah, why not? Uh no need, Tara. There is cool. a poison coated on this uh, needle. It's poison. <laughs> <laughs> Stood observation, Thranduin. <laughs> um, don't I have a thing that can? <laughs> It's as it's ah. he, says, he says it's poison, but it's like exasperated, and he's just like lay on hands, <laughs> like eliminating the poison. And okay, uh. he's no longer poison, but he is still sleeping. <gasps> hmm. Fizbin, you wake up. <laughs> ah. <laughs> you are you. I don't know if you drink Fizbin. No, 
but no, you, he I, we're going to say you're pretty much drunk. It's the same effects of you just being like, <laughs> <laughs> Okay. And as the, as the poison wears off, it begins to fade. Um, Let effect. me have this, Jeff. <laughs> <laughs> I'm just saying, I did tie him to my chicken. Oh, yeah, you're also tied. <laughs> oh, no. You come to, you come oh, to your no. loopy, you're finally awake. Um, How big is that chicken? <laughs> it is a large-sized big. creature. Okay, all right. Because I'm heavy. I've got heavy armor. Yeah, I know what you're saying. <laughs> We're sneaking through the bush still just slowly tracking him with us. <laughs> I'm honestly not sure if the chicken can carry all of my weight. Like, you <laughs> sit up and you are tied and everything's like uh, <laughs> What is What is happening? Shh, it'll be Project! okay. <laughs> uh, another one just Right in the neck. Oh my, oh my god. god. Did I see where that one down, came from? Yeah, did we see where that one came yeah, from? Now We're that, on alert now. That everyone's, now. everyone's watching. You guys all turn and uh, what looks like moss on a tree. You see like a... We see str- you. <laughs> strange moss-like creature. Back am to I, being am I there? <laughs> yeah. So you walk in right next to this thing and everyone turns to you and goes we see you <laughs> well, yeah i'm not hidden <laughs> Gloss. Yeah. well okay so, with my so... <laughs> with my passive perception of 21 would i notice no um cool. as it, all you see is, about is tara just like <laughs> towards you with the claws out whoa it's over it's over <laughs> <laughs> Wait, I'm so confused. You're the one shooting the darts? Is no, that... he's no, not. I'm not. He's not. He's just, not. I'm just he, next that's to just him. where he comedically oh, rejoined okay. the group. Oh. Okay, I was, I was like, wait. <laughs> we already like, did the making thing. Us so flat. <laughs> I'm good now. I'm good now. Remember? All right, let's roll initiative. <laughs> oh no. <laughs> uh. I would rather not. Fourteen. <laughs> Ooh, Jeffrey's rolling high tonight. 14, no. who said that? All right. I put it in the chat, too. Ah, oh, thank you. Me. <laughs> that makes no. Is someone going to shout that there's a person next to me so that I can know what's going on? <laughs> I'm an owl. Woo! <laughs> That's all I can Something do. Something spitting sticks onto Bisbin. <laughs> Somebody is, is, is there like a, a horny tree around here? What's going on? It's uh, the I the <laughs> <laughs> oh my gosh, even in his sleep. <laughs> it's very devotion for you. <laughs> uh, 14 for Minty. Minty. Orbit. <laughs> In your top. Okay. okay. This is because I told you I didn't sleep last night, right? Is that, is that oh what's happening God, here? No, but that's great. <laughs> You're just gonna sleep the whole the whole episode. <laughs> it's gonna be one of those episodes. It's not even the beginning of the season. <laughs> <laughs> Excellent. <laughs> You're like. <"Bleh." laughs> All right. Wait, does he roll initiative if he's unconscious? I guess not, huh? I think if we if he? he gets back up, he does. By inner combat, I'll win, yeah. yeah. Um, I imagine I wouldn't be able to heal him again before combat. Nope. So this thing's gonna go first. It, no. It <laughs> pries itself off of the tree. It is made of kind of a bark-like substance, but mostly like this moss, crusty uh, form. Um, Minturoso, you recognize it as one of the native species of uh, people uh, to the swamp. Um, this is not some new mutant corrupted thing. This is a plant-like tr- uh, creature um, that. So it's you're, it's not one of the villagers. It's just a, no, like a native is, swamp thing. Yeah, think of like a think of a spriggan or an ent. Um, okay, do I? 
know them to be generally nice to me? No, not particularly. Uh, <laughs> they okay. also are not able to speak or anything like that, and they kind of are hunter-gatherer types. Um, I just want to know, like, given my history of it, is it a thing that I would be willing to attack on site? Uh, not, not, um, not on site. If provoked, if, they can be aggressive, okay. but overall, they, they don't want anything to do with you. Um, they're also not, like, have any kind of society. They don't have, like, um, a clan or anything like that. They're just kind of, they exist, they do their thing. Um... Yeah, okay. Um, okay. All right. You watch it put its hand to the ground and nothing happens. For D, you're up. Nothing happened? Um, it, nothing you see. Nothing hey, appears. Hey, that's what happen. I was afraid right. of. Uh, he, he ended his turn within 30 feet of me, yes? This is correct. I am going to cast a stone rune reaction on him. Uh, you need a DC 14 wisdom save. Uh, reaction? Yep. Hmm. If a creature ends its turn okay. in my sight okay. within 30 feet of me. <laughs> Needs a reaction. Uh, what, do we, what, kind uh, of, uh, what kind of... DC 14 whiz save. Oh, that's not going to be... Oh, wow, it made it. Wow. Okay. Wow. Rude. Do it again. Roll lower. Great <laughs> yeah, okay. It's advantage because I said so. Do it again. <laughs> <laughs> a 19 ah, minus five. 2. <laughs> nothing happens. There's <laughs> a whole lot of nothing going on this fight. Uh, Rudy, you're up. Is that considered a humanoid? Yes. It is? Yep, a plant based humanoid. All the things uh -huh. I can do to it now. Yeah, I like this <laughs> opened up so much. It's not a monster. I'm, a <laughs> I'm so used to you <laughs> being like, no. Really? <laughs> I'm sorry. Yeah. I'm you were in a city for most of this campaign. <laughs> I know, but most of like the monsters and stuff, they're monsters, so they're no, not they're considered. So That's fair. Beast, not yeah, so monster. I can't do anything to them. Um, I. Yeah, I'm going to do a risky move. Oh, um, I would like to, I think it's risky because it's a high spell. Um, I would like to cast Hold Person. Okay. What is and that after it's a roll? Wis wisdom save. What is after roll? 16. 16? 16 exactly. Rolled an 18 That is so stupid. Two. Your dice are rigged. <laughs> Get rid of this us. This is so you can't. <laughs> Back-to-back -back whiz saves with a nine, minus two? Yeah, well, oh. Oh. <laughs> This is dumb. I stand by it. Uh, oh, yeah, well, you're gonna Can I use my lucky to make you re-roll? No. No. <laughs> <laughs> Wait, no, I thought that was part of it. I don't know. You can't no, post yeah. your advantage, no. It's only you on your own No, no, no. Rolls. It's not disadvantage. You just make either your party re-roll or the... If, Although there's two versions of it. There's the halfling one, and then there's the actual, like, feet one. And one of them is you can make anybody okay. re-roll anything, and then yeah. one of them is you can only make your party re-roll. So... I think you're what? thinking of the bountiful luck feet, I not don't the know. luck feet. I, I could be wrong. Let's look it up. I also I've seen people wrong. use lucky that way. Okay. That'd be cool. Uh, you can also spend one luck point when an attack roll is made against you. Roll a d20 and then choose whether the attack uses the attacker's roll or yours. Does it apply oh, to you? So it doesn't apply to saving throws? No. No, it doesn't okay. apply to saving throws. All right. So you're going to have someone actually like miss you. What else are you doing on your turn? Yeah. Okay. Well, that would have been awesome. That would have been just I did not I know remembered that about part of it. Yep. If that were a thing, <laughs> good job, would ben. be used way more often. Yeah. Yes. Like, oh, yeah, is so that. fun. <laughs> yeah, it is. So, uh, as always, my first bonus is going to be the dancing rapier. So, I'm going to send that out. I'm going to try to hit it. Okay. Smack it. Uh, gosh dang, where are my numbers? 18. 18 hits? Yeah. Yeah, it does. Okay. So, we're going to use you, Lucky Girl. Um,. I'm using my, uh, does it have psychic 
stuff. Can I hit it with psychic stuff? My psychic. You can certainly you know. try. Well, no, no. It's like whenever I hit something with a weapon, I can do psychic. Right. Things. I know. Oh, okay. Yeah, that's a. Tr you don't know if it's gonna work or not. Gotcha. Uh, <laughs> okay. Thirty-two. Risky, risky business. Uh, thirty-two. Is that and psychic damage? That's including the psychic damage. The blade did ten. Okay. And the rest was from psychic damage. Okay. Um, you watch the blade pass through it, but doesn't seem to do any damage to it. But it does recoil visibly from the psychic damage. Oh no! Interesting. Okay. Um, where am I in position to this thing? About forty feet away. Like, is there anything between me and it? Mm -mm. I would like Branduin to be between me and okay. it. <laughs> <laughs> <You're like that>. <laughs> <laughs> All right, uh, Tara, your turn. With did it... Minty on deck. So, did it seem like her physical attack didn't work? Yeah, it seemed to it seemed to go through it, but it didn't react at all. Huh. Was that because like a magical thing or just uh, the nature of it as a creature? As a plant-based kind of uh, fungal, mossy boy. Can I make a history check to see how much of th this creature I know about? Not right now. Oh, okay. There. Okay, so I'm going to assume that my talents aren't going to do anything then. Uh, and I'm going to pop out of wild shape. What is, does that take anything to pop out of wild shape? Uh, no. No, you can just drop it. Okay, okay, cool. So, yeah, sorry, I was trying to figure that out. Um, and then I'm just gonna try out a primal savagery on it. Okay. And see if that does anything. Um, so that would be a 21 to hit. 21 hits? What kind of damage? It's gonna be poison damage. Okay. Or acid damage, I mean. Okay. Uh, it's going to be 14 acid damage. It seems to take the effect. It seems to take the effect? Okay, cool, 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 cool. Um, <laughs> uh, so I'm right up in its face. That was my action. Uh, I guess I can't really... A bonus action with my other stick won't do anything, so okay. it's just going to attack. So that'll be my turn. All right, uh, Minty, with Thranduin on deck. Um... Yeah, how much of this, like, fighting this creature do I know about? Um, you haven't had a lot of, like, actual dealings. Mostly it's been kind of some back and forth, and then they'll either retreat or you will. Okay. Do I know in my past if fire or poison works against them? Yes, it does. Both of them mm -hmm. equally? Cool. <clears throat> All right. Well, then I am going to bonus action uh, cast Zephyr Strike. Okay. Because I'm right next to this thing, right? Yep. Okay, cool. So I'm going to cast uh, Zephyr Strike. And then I'm going to cast uh, as my attack. I am going to... I want to pop up in it. Uh, anyway, and for my attack, I'm going to use Poison Spray. Uh, you have to make a uh, DC 15 con save. The natural 20. Okay. Well, we're going to move right past that then. And uh, I am going to bound away uh, 30 feet. Okay. And Zephyr Strike makes it so I don't have an opportunity yeah. to attack okay. against me. All right. Is it your turn? Um, and then uh, Albert is there. Mm -hmm. I, uh, uh, he has to take a dodge, but can I put him in a flanking position? Mm, He's, there's yes, like a tree it, yeah, because him. it can go on the other side of the tree. It's back to the tree, okay. but it can get on the other side of the tree. Okay. Well, then I'm going to move... Uh, all right. Albert to a flanking position. Branduin. How far away is he? About 30 feet. Perfect. I will run up and attempt to smack. Okay. You, as as, as Minturoso backs off, Branduin comes in <laughs> where he was. 
Nice. I do like, like a, a tree... backflip cat leap over him. Like nice. <laughs> yeah. Hell yeah. Cool. <laughs> Hell yeah. <laughs> As he just comes rushing. <laughs> <laughs> but it's not even like I meant to do it. I saw him last second. I went up oh, and then just flipped. <laughs> and like it's a cat scare from a cucumber. Flanking. Because flanking, yes. It's just, it's just Terra. Backflip and then Thranduin and Gator. <laughs> Durr. 27 like, to hit. 27 hits. I like to think I flew up above the tree and just swiped down <laughs> at it, so I'm above him. Yeah. Zoomies. I oh, see that's... Pepper's dropping the dice before the session. It was just him switching the normal ones out for his magic dice. Um, <laughs> nine magical slashing. Oh, it's dead. Oh, okay. You just go right down its center and as it peels apart and crumbles you watch the like the more half of it the more chunk of it just like with one hand trying to crawl towards uh fizzbin and then it just falls to pieces i almost didn't expect that to work and i like look at brigade because her dancing sword is just chilling like <laughs> yeah <laughs> <laughs> I'm gonna hop down and I'm gonna go cast Cure Wounds on Fizbin. Fizbin's up. Cure Wounds? I believe mm -hmm. so. Cure Wounds is a poison. Yep. Because that does stasis effects. Yeah. Uh, is that Cure Wounds? Or cure Wounds is just HP. Oh, just might be. Oh, is it? Well, I can, you feel I can, good. I can lay hands because that'll save you a spell slot. Oh, I okay. Just, I can just lay hands and get rid of the poison. Gotcha. Okay. okay. I don't is know that if a get rid of poison. Cantrip? Is Lay of Hands a cantrip? Uh, it's a paladin uh, racial, uh, oh. class ability. Nice. Uh, gotcha. Yes, Bloxen, why does the Moss hate Fizzbin? I will do that We're again. We're getting there. <laughs> Fizzbin, what did you do? <laughs> Fizzbin's not even awake yet. <laughs> He's she says still it's tied to sleeping. the chicken. <laughs> <laughs> Just get down again, pluck out the dart, yeah. lay hands. <laughs> now you're very uh, disoriented, Fizzman. Why were you sleeping during the fight? <laughs> Stop getting poisoned. Radith's <laughs> gonna go up to him. Hello. You, you have Edith. an AC of 20. Stop getting poisoned. <laughs> <laughs> In Elvish, she's just gonna start talking to him as gonna... if he should be able to understand her. Oh gosh, I'm, okay, Fizbin, you hear Elvish and you're tied and you uh you're incredibly intoxicated. Uh, I hear I hear Elvish. Yeah, you hear someone <laughs> well it's pretty, so that might help a bit, but I'll let you be the, the you judge of this I'm one. I'm gonna roll a percentile on this. <laughs> I'm gonna say you have a. Let's see. I am very out of it. Yeah, and you're not and, experienced with being intoxicated. I'm not experienced with being intoxicated Ooh. at all. So I'm gonna say you have a sixty percent chance I don't just spew lightning at you right now. You uh, chose this pretty. That is a forty-one. <laughs> Congrats, you made it. <laughs> You, you, got it, you, recognize, you do recognize that it's pretty speaking elvish so you're you have a knee-jerk reaction to and then it's you're good like you hear you like you see that the head just turn and then just open and then the the mouth starts crackling <laughs> <laughs> and then the realization holds his mouth shut no <laughs> no <laughs> i start eating popcorn <laughs> I'm gonna go untie Fizzbin. <laughs> oh, like, what to are you guys doing? Yeah, no. Go, chicken, go. Uncomfortable. Can I search the body for the as I have ever <laughs> the body? No way. You mean the moss? You kind of start shifting through body. the moss, um, and you okay. find um, mostly nothing, but you do find three more darts with this poison. Neat. <laughs> Fizzbin, Can stop I... being lazy and get up. <laughs> I Can I do a na nature He's check He's been to poisoned, you daft Dimbo. <laughs> <laughs> oh, you didn't tell me that. Still smacking his face. I, I, like, oh. Oh. The first chart I announced, it's poison. And then <laughs> yeah, slapped him. Not everyone knows. I thought the second one might. 
Brandon, Brandon get, moves her off and like. And, who, and... who tied me up, by the way? I, that was, I was gonna was help her. carry you since we aren't strong enough to do so. So it's this just was like the in best general, option. like who who tied me, me up? <laughs> All right, so okay. I can imagine it may or may not be the best type of tying. I'm gonna use a strength deck to try and break out. Okay. It's a great tie. What do you mean? Mean? Because, as, as, because she's I said a I untied yeah. you. Tara is in the front. Oh, because she's, goes because she's an ally. I don't know what's you. happening. Okay. Okay. So, so you, go to, break, spy, like, you go to break yeah. and you almost throw out your shoulder because you're not tied because anymore. Just super just loose <laughs> and I just immediately fall over. It didn't fall, even break. It just unraveled. Chicken. Exactly. It just... Like... <laughs> All right. Um... Ben, you were doing something. I just found the the darts. I didn't find a a, a blowgun to go with it or anything. Nah, that crumbled with the rest of the wood, and the moss. You could probably Rude. make one. Can I do a, a nature check to see if it I just like a, breaks a, off a its finger to use as a blow dart? <laughs> if you recognize what? <laughs> the poison. Uh, are you familiar with poisons? Well, I'm familiar with the swamp. Okay, yeah, sure, sure, sure. Goose go, goose go, sure, sure, sure. Make you want me check. to help you? Uh, I got a 17 on that nature check. No help is given then. Um, okay. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> she just uh, left. <laughs> I was trying to find <laughs> you. Don't need me. <laughs> <laughs> um, there is a uh, there is a type of hornet's nest that uh, you can you can you can extract um, and make into this poison. Okay. Uh, so I look back at Fizz and I go, ha, you're allergic to bees. Uh, but are, how are the darts constructed? Is it possible to pick it up without getting the poison on me? Uh, as long as you don't make a cut, you're good. As long as it doesn't get oh, that, in well, your that's... system. Yeah, I guess that's pretty easy. I, I assume I have a pouch somewhere on my backpack that yeah. I can put these darts in. Yeah, you can wrap it in a leather or something like that, yeah. Okay, then yeah, I'm going to keep potion bottle. with me. Keep them in a very good pouch. Yeah. <laughs> Randomly. Don't fall on your back. <laughs> <laughs> Why is he asleep? Don't use those as toothpicks. Um, oh my gosh. Can I make a perception check to see if there's a one of those hives around? Oh, yes. That's that's a yes. Yeah. Yep. That's okay. Uh, it was a, a nat twenty, so a thirty-one overall. There is not. <laughs> you can say with the utmost confidence that there is like one nearby. Nope. <laughs> oh, I uh, love that. So Fizbin got drunk on spicy honey. Yes. <laughs> spicy <laughs> honey. Spicy honey. Mead. False. Hornets don't make honey. Shh. Uh, can what I, have I been on eating? Earth? Yeah. <laughs> can I make a check to see if there are any more of these? Moss boys around. Yeah, go Ooh. ahead and make a perception check. Oh. Can we all make that? No. <laughs> can we help? <laughs> yes. Can we offer assistance? Mm, fine. I mean, yes. Yeah. It's uh. <laughs> I mean, I'll take it, but like, I'm pretty sure it's high enough as it is. Twenty-two. Well, maybe it'll be higher. Twenty-two. No, a, the second one was a four, but. <laughs> uh, my bad. You're looking. You're looking around. And We're you distracting notice... him. Look that way. <laughs> Go there. And oh, there is no. a very small patch of moss up on one tree, kind of high up. And uh, you don't know if it's one of these creatures. You just notice a tiny patch of moss. <laughs> it is a kind of <laughs> sus looking patch of moss. <laughs> I'm going to throw a whisper at it. Like, I'm picking mm, up roll the head. Sketch five. <laughs> whisper, like, you, uh, you unsheath whisper and you're like. <laughs> I honest to God thought this was a spell you were casting where you whisper to something and then it can hear and it's the only thing that can hear you. you just hear and me. then yes, I'm rem now remembering the bloodthirsty dagger that yes, you have. The bl That's literal the bloodthirsty dagger. <laughs> With the uh, chicken strips. <laughs> dirty twenty. Dirty twenty. Yeah. <laughs> right dead center of the moss, which just curls and dies <laughs> around the knife <laughs> and starts fumbling apart. I don't know if it's uh, got blood, but hopefully it can uh, drink something. Uh, so I'll, that is you have to be holding dies. it to communicate no. with it. Right, so I'll go over and Okay, you, you climb up the tree and uh, you grab the knife. 
questions. Hmm. Just like this bit. <laughs> Getting more moist than anything right now. <laughs> yeah, Fizzbin, how you doing? You kind of you kind of get on your feet and you're like, he's landed mm. in the mud and he's just just very groggy. Eventually, stumbles on on the chicken every once in a while to try and get his balance. Chicken's chicken, chicken like it. chicken's like Tara's, shuffling oh, away from you. <laughs> Tara's just it. gonna be there, like <laughs> arms up, trying to help him as much as she Aww. can. Aww. Aww. <laughs> All right, then, yeah, you can stabilize. Tara. I'm I was like, that's Tara. I oh, already okay. turned. I, I, already, like, hmm. I turned out of the owl for the fight. Oh, okay. <laughs> yeah. I would like to pull a loaf of bread and an egg out of my backpack okay. and be like, "Look, buddy, I've been through this." Aww. <laughs> just a raw egg. And oh, yeah. <laughs> he's a cat. <laughs> yeah, they hundred percent would just do that. Yeah, cats. <laughs> Honestly, dragons probably would too. I mean, yeah, that's true. Also, yeah. when you're hungover. <laughs> You absolutely yeah. just down a raw egg. I mean, stabbed in the neck twice. <laughs> and one I'm, I'm, I'm learning things. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, I'm talking about being drunk, but being the, stabbed in the neck twice in one I, night is a completely I'm different not, story. And it fully I don't happened. drink. I'm, I'm not drunk. I don't drink. Oh, and he you takes a silly bite goose. out of the bread. It's like a, it's like a nice rye bread, and then he gets into the egg, and it's a it's an egg. It's an egg. <laughs> it's an egg. I eat uh, chicken warily. I guess you could eat the shells. Yeah, that's fine. Oh yeah, the whole thing. We're like, wait, whole no, noggin. that's not how you. Okay. He's it's a like a yeah. steak, just unhinged. Dragonborns just do whatever they want. Uh, I'm gonna press to digitate his like armor and stuff, and make it all clean he and nice again. <laughs> A car wash drive through. Yeah, just, just clean. Just, just, just Ang style with the Earth Kingdom, where just like all plastered in one direction when she's done. Like, you, oh, you hear his beard. <laughs> <laughs> and everyone looks over, and Danky kind of strides into the into the encampment and goes, <laughs> mud. <laughs> where are the natives? The natives are still out scouting. You guys didn't make any oh. huge loud attacks. You didn't do any like fire damage. Uh, I was gonna do the thing where like the campfire and the distance goes out, but you guys didn't do any uh, overly explosive oh. stuff. So they they don't know. They're still scouting it out. We handled it quietly. Oh, yeah, like rose. Quick. Huh. Do you know how to read uh, uh, smoke signals? Uh, I don't know. I don't know. I don't think you do. That's kind of a thing of society. Okay, <laughs> I have no idea. You say no. If there, She's gonna anyway. If you, you think you would, then that's that's you fine. You don't. If you don't speak smoke either. But we, it says we are over here. <laughs> Wait, let's if, go. if the smoke signals are in the swamp and they've been, they've, they've happened before. Uh, no, this is this is unseen to you, and and, okay. and it's off-putting that there's like rings around the trail of smoke. But the natives, did, did the natives seem to know what it was, or just that? No, it was they were they were like, like they were like okay. sus. Okay. Bad vibes. <laughs> All right, forward we go to the smoke signal. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. Okay. All right, you guys. I'll, I'll, I'll be keeping an eye out for more moss. Oh yes, carefully. Okay. We are going okay. like carefully. Okay. Because yeah, I if his twenty-two saw a moss creature, but my passive perception of twenty-one doesn't, I'm gonna be upset. So, passive <laughs> one passive point perception. Man. Yeah, one I, point I, I know. Okay. I know. Um, Ninja, thank you for the stuff. We're gonna go upsetting. to break. We're gonna go. Oh. <laughs> I just I wanted to see it. I was personally fronted by the assault. <laughs> um, so, the party moving through the woods. That's us. Um, gets back into that underbrush. Um, You run into one of the natives who kind of gestures for everyone to kind of get down a bit. And while you already were moving cautiously, you're stealthed. Can I cast Pass Without Trace on all of us? Yeah. Thanks. Nice. 
Um, are you including the native that's with you? Yeah, however many I can include. I think you can include up to 10. No, it's a plus 10. Anyway. It's a, um, I, it's a ton. I have it right here. It's a ton. Don't worry about it. It's all good. So, uh, he gestures. And what originally looked like seven mounds of kind of growth of kind of just overgrown greenery you watch as one of them like shifts and um in the center of these mounds you can see the smoke kind of rising up you can hear voices here and there not native voices do do these look like the same creatures we just fought no okay these are these are almost huge sized creatures double checking their actual size is huge bigger than large yes oh these are huge so it's large then Boys. huge and then huge <laughs> and then <laughs> damn. Uh, <laughs> uh, these are roughly shaped like elephants mammoths Whoa. big 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 boys I'm actually going to post a picture of them in the Discord. Hey. Hooray. What you guys doing? You can see... I'm going to the Discord to see what the elephant looks like. Uh, as, <laughs> as, uh, as you kind of sit there, the native kind of points out to various points in the woods the, the, the five natives that you have, Bronson and the four dudes he has brought with, have kind of surrounded the area. Hey, Duck, welcome to the Discord. And Elliot. If you guys want to head over to the Terraform channel in the Longshot Discord, I will post this picture. Will you? I would play. Will you, though? Just did. All right. Oh, <gasps> hey. hey. Oh, so cool. Hey. Swamp thing. <laughs> oh, I Anyone like new it. joining the Discord, remember to uh, agree to the rules agreement and then pick a role, and then that will unlock all the other tabs in the discord for you Thank okay you, Jake. what language are they speaking make a perception check hmm gross mm. everybody i like it gross aren't they make fun a perception yeah. check you say okay 29 so everyone, everyone makes a perception yeah oh 22 <gasps> okay. we'll use 10 here we go 10 <laughs> Oh gosh. I'm rolling great today. Ten. Uh, ten. Ten. Okay, this is Elvish. And this oh. is the Elvish of the Elven lands <laughs> in the in the um wow. in the northern I mean, continent. Look who speaks Elvish. And slowly touch um Bisbin and just look at him like a warning look, like yeah. don't attack them. You can't hear what they're saying, but you do pick up that it's got that elven lilt. Mm. Wow, well, uh, I can identify. Are they too one far away? Or even, even with the twenty-two, it's, I don't it's understand muffled. anything. It's muffled. Yeah. As if uh, they're and they are talking relatively muffled. quietly. They're also muffled. hidden by. They're also muffled by the. So um, you're telling, <laughs> Brady, you're telling me that that it's that it's elvish. Because he did not roll very high in the perception check. Because I did. I didn't identify it. I'm not verbally saying anything, so you can okay. interpret my look <laughs> however you feel. Insight check. Okay. <laughs> uh, that is a 26. Okay. She's got that look she gives you whenever you get angry about elves. This <laughs> <laughs> Ben's face is just like confused and then just like the <laughs> she tugs so her good. ear. De- de- no. <laughs> How many of these things are there? Of the elves, you're not sure. But of the elves? giant they're walking around eight, green things. Eight peat mammoths. Oh, these aren't the things that are talking. No. Oh, oh. I totally thought it was these. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. I was like, oh my gosh, it's that's why huge I, elephant right. moss creatures. Huge that's creatures why I was like, murmuring. and I can't hear what they're saying. No, they're... no. There's they've made a, they've buildings. made a ring around the encampment. Um, you can see a small creek going through. Taylor's just chilling. <laughs> she hasn't caught on to any of this, uh, Tara. No. 
<laughs> She's vibing. I'm oh. looking at the mammoths so I go, oh, I want one, I want one. These I are plant one, creatures. I want one, I want one, I want one. Or D will indicate, try and get Tara's attention to indicate what language they're hearing. <laughs> <laughs> what? And she'll like point at her ears and like make a talking and like. Okay. Why can't, we, why can't we just say that they're speaking Elvish right now? Like, why? I don't know if we're trying to be quiet, okay? <laughs> we have plus I'm 10. Gonna... We have a fog of like yeah. sound dampening around oh, us. Oh, right okay, now. great. They're speaking Elvish. <laughs> <laughs> oh, okay. <laughs> <laughs> I'm going to uh, tap the native guide that we have on the back. And uh, in native, it's like, do you recognize the the uh, swamp monster or the elfish voices? Foreigners. Oh, gross. We hate tourists. <laughs> and I, I turn to the group and I go, ugh, tourists. Ugh, <laughs> the worst. I mean, it could be good for like Dragon's End business, but like, oh. <laughs> When have visitors ever been good for Dragon's End? <laughs> they've Taylor, they've not caused Tara. <laughs> nothing but problems all the time. I think we should try and make friends We're here. with the tourists. We're one here of because of visitors. <laughs> Mr. Bisbon's the you, only good one. Do you think you maybe... You say that. How far away are they? Uh, about 80 feet. Okay. Okay. What if one of us went in there and distracted the swampy mammoths so that the elfy boys were exposed? Huh? Do we what? What would that? Do? Or what, we what, could what like do? try to sneaky sneak hear what they're saying. Yeah, just sneak a little closer, see if we want to uh, be friends. I don't understand Elvish, but. For D, uh, we can go on in it. For, I do. Jeff, for did D, you say it can... was it was Elvish, Elvish, or was it like yeah, a different it's Elvish, dialect Elvish. of Elvish that we I meant, Sorry, I meant the the accent is that of the elves from the northern continent. Okay. Well, so like we, we just can't hear them because we're so far away. Correct. Or, okay. Yeah, um, but for D, we can go on an animal adventure together again if you want. Yes, I have my card out. <laughs> I'm ready. <laughs> Let's do it. <laughs> I'm gonna put, what should I change it to though? What is well, like? You get the intelligence of whatever animal you change into, right? Yeah. <laughs> um, owls can understand elvish. Don't That's pick cool. an animal that could be like shot down because if they're hungry, they might just like hunt, think your food. It's true. Something we gross did... tasting. Something you should pick tasting. something yeah. tasty and make it a challenge. You should want, never trust the elves. Never trust them. Just want something stealth-wise. Mm, we're gonna, we'll deal with that later. <laughs> Which we could be real quiet, and I think owls still have a higher intelligency and can understand elvish, so. Oh, Wait, Dinky is yeah. with you too, by the way. Oh, oh, <laughs> oh yeah. gosh. But he came he in, must... he showed up earlier before the break. Quick but question, do I, do I recognize these moss creatures? No. Okay. So they're yes, not I, of the swamp. Not of the swamp. Ooh. Gross. They the certainly tree, look like they would be. The tree things aren't technically of the swamp either, right? Right. The tree things. Like oh, the, the giant, tree giant ones. The no, those trees. are new. Yeah, those are new. Okay, yeah. Those, those are the... as you know, are Sovas's work. Do the, uh, the elephant type creatures seem to be under the control of the elves? They do look relatively... Um, like tamed or yeah tamed they do look tamed these are probably steeds okay is there does there seem to be a way to get closer close enough to them stealthily yeah ma you can make words? a stealth check you have a plus 10 to your already bump stats okay well if they, those two are turning into birds and then these two are covered in armor mm-hmm i say we leave these two in the woods for now Oh yeah, for reconnaissance, apps. We, yeah, I'll be back here waiting. Even even with a plus ten, it's risky. <laughs> yeah, I, I just like I have the like the rigging memory of the last time I cast pass without trace on you guys, and we had to change the entire plan. 
Uh, if you uh, want to go sneaking off against those elves, be my guest. I do. But just when you need me to go in and subdue the elves and then interrogate them and figure out what they're doing here and why they shot me with poison, yep. then you let me know. I will sh- oh, that, I, those I'll weren't shoot a... elves didn't shoot you with poison. That was oh. elves. Oh. Taylor, you were saying yes, something? I, are you sure? I know that you want to pin everything on us, but are you wasn't. sure? This, How do yes. you know? Because I killed the moss creature itself. It was absolutely not an elf. It was gross. Yeah. How do we know that those are elves? We can hear them. They're at least speaking elvish. They're speaking they elvish. Speak elvish, but they don't. Do they look like elves? Can't see them yet. We can't quite see them. We don't. The know. Giant well, we gotta go find out. Yeah. I'm just. I'm just saying. Take that. That M- finger. Menti I'm gonna, like, speaks I'm elvish, gonna and he grab, does his knees not I'm gonna, elves. I'm gonna grab the finger that he's pointing. And <laughs> they could be that. more tieflings. <laughs> just not gonna point fingers just yet. While we don't they're know arguing, the I'm gonna make this stealth check. And just kind of like okay. and just just leave away. us leave us arguing back and forth. <laughs> we're, we're still we're going, going back here. My dad's anyway. cranky. Hang on. Yeah. <laughs> we we going, Taylor. Twenty eight. You do... stealth into the into the wood. Do you want to go as owls or do you just want to go as us? Because I think you're also very stealthy, right? I'm just very stealthy. Yeah, I say let's just go as humans and save it for if we need it. Okay. Okay. The three of you stealth. Um, Danky goes with you. Okay. Okay. Oh, he's, yeah, he's silent. Okay. Yeah, I got he, a he silent. I got a 26. 26. Very good. That's popping up on my screen. 37. 37. Uh-huh. Wow. 37. <laughs> I have plus 10 for me, plus 10 from the thing, oh, and yeah. I rolled the 17. From your awoken, the vestige <laughs> of divergence. Um. Yeah. The three of you and Denki. Um make your way along the creek that's kind of going through their camp and uh you get up to the the peat mammoth um the peat mammoth uh you're just kind of looking at its butt thank you butt just big big plant butt i do not want to be under the butt <laughs> just saying hey, am i close enough now to hear the words yes she touched the butt <laughs> um Think one elephant hair. I'm in the cool kids now. <laughs> <laughs> um, okay. <clears throat> what do you think they did to Jim's? Best not best not give it too much mind. Jim's t- He did something that offended some of us. Haven't seen him since. We don't technically answer to him. We've been sent to assist him. Yes, we do. But we don't take orders from him. And then you hear like a, like a hum, so like, a, like someone humming and they both immediately go quiet. Sorry, Lady, Lady Willow. We didn't, we didn't mean nothing by it. You, and, then you hear, and then you hear like a... <laughs> They're all bastards. And then you hear a... You speak with respect to Lady Willow. Or you not speak. They all kind of fall quiet after that. You can smell do cooked. Know, you can smell cooked what, food. Do I know a Savas? Sovas. Is that a name? Yes, Sovas. Uh, you know from the party, um, is a very powerful archdruid, who um, was up in the mountains uh, of the spine, and was conducting experiments on people. They actually went to Sovas for help and got help. Uh, he was a very much I'm on my own side kind of guy. Um, and now he seems to have dealings in this swamp in some way. Um, through Crichton, George's old old character, um, you the party learned that he was able to take people and using a dragon leaf tree seed 
embed them into people. And you also know he was working for the elves in the northern continent. Do we know the Lady Willow Foss? I was going to say, is Willow the one who wore the the mask? Yeah. Mm -hmm. I do. We don't. We don't. Yeah, see you don't. Them you don't all. know that one. No. Um, okay. No. And I don't understand anything, so I'm just here as backup. This is an Elvish. I know. I don't understand anything. Oh, okay. With Wait. my high stealth, would I have been able to? either whisper to her what is being said and or do whispering charades. will be against their passive perception no because you're very charades. close now <laughs> charades is fine i'm just saying whispering is is so, risky because you're right up on them even with pass that trace it's that's the stealth even with my stealth yeah no this your stealth won't wouldn't necessarily come into it Okay. Never mind then. You can just be making confused, a noise. Tara. I can't think of a way to explain this without. <laughs> huh? It, it, you're doing great. Never mind. Um, you can you can I, like you can charades if you want to charades to me. I just oh yeah, roll let, can I just uh, okay <laughs> actually performances. I was like, I would recognize if you like tried to describe Willow with like the mouth open. If you roll really low on your performance, I'm gonna make you roll stealth. I did not. Technically, <laughs> twenty-four. Okay. You convey a certain amount of information, but Lady. she eventually, what eventually clicks is mask. It's it's elf mask. Oh, the Willow that you talked to. And you also and you also were from context and from her uh were able to tell that uh they have probably like a prisoner of some kind how far away from us do they seem that you're on the other side of the huge sized creature oh i see i see Did we think that Sobos was working with uh, Makuda? Yes. Yes. Okay. So. I don't think we can be friends with them. Makuda well, likes Makuda you guys. Makuda thinks we're friends. It's yeah, an interesting Makuda, balance Makuda where, still likes us. where Makuda is definitely up to some evil stuff. So Voss is doing something that would likely is ultimately helping him in his agenda in some way. Uh, so, assumedly, their goals have aligned in this moment. Um, I'm going to, like, gesture towards the two of them. And I'm gonna be like... You get their attention. Eight words. It's alligator. Shoulder. You turn into an alligator? Windmill. This is really hard. This is awesome. <laughs> Fire. Magic. Eight. Eight words. Mouth. Scatter. Attack! No, I'm just kidding. <laughs> I'm, I'm trying to. I'm trying to convey. Do you want me to summon? Plot. Do you want me to summon eight? Make a performance creatures on, on to be able to eight see, can communicate that. Yeah, like how I've summoned dogs multiple times oh! before. Do you want me to summon animals? Uh, to cause I'm a distraction. I got 12. <laughs> yeah, you, you got nothing. You guys have no idea what she's saying. Okay, I'm just. Something about a game. Throw my hands up in frustration. <laughs> look at them, rally point, and then point back to where uh, George and. and Alright, uh, make, uh, thumbs up, make your back. stealth checks uh, back to the party. <laughs> 19. Oh. 19. 27. 27. We still have the. Yep. Yeah. Burn it out. 39. Well, as as I, want. I can cast it 39 at will. 39 stealth check. That is insane. All right. Yeah. The three of you make it back. I just disappeared. So, what for a was this? Oh, are you, you guys are you yelling? Me... Are you no. yelling it? No, no, I'm not yelling. yelling. Okay, okay. I was asking. This mouth fire. 
I, I mean, you wouldn't know, but Birdie, I was trying to be like, if I would summon, like, eight animals to, like, distract oh, and cause chaos. Creature! Creatures! Oh. <laughs> eight yeah. ones of distraction? It doesn't matter if they're elves or not. We could totally just can we just. <laughs> <laughs> You could have. <laughs> Why didn't you do it like this? Why, Why did you, you do it like that? I don't know. You're <laughs> having a moment of like, man, I, my, I can't my hear mentor. what George is saying because there's too much going on. So I was just like, ah, I'm I don't the, know what you just said. I'm a background. We're still. I'm in the middle of the argument that we were right. having earlier. I just, I just couldn't hear what you said for the argument. Albert during this too. Yeah, I don't know, boy. I don't know what they're talking about. Right? <laughs> <laughs> okay. Three and two in, three and two in. Just, just, Wait, are you, guys, are you guys back now? <laughs> yeah, they're back yeah. now. Yeah. Oh, okay. Yeah. okay. <laughs> That's yeah, we why started I started talking with you back. Again. <laughs> so what we discovered is that they work for Sovas, who we know works with Makuta, but Willow's there. Remember Willow? R Willow? Yeah. Uh, Lady Willow was an individual that you found in... Um, uh, the that stupid the prison. prison, the prison yeah. that, um, that we had Drogar, to, like... Drogar's dainty dungeon. But yeah. she wasn't particularly helpful, and or she just kind of left. Right. She didn't. You heard say anything. that she just kind of left. No, she kind of left even when we were there. I think like I she kind of went I, on her own. I no, and I hung out captured. with her. I, I hung out with her for like the day because you guys were doing council stuff and I didn't understand. So Willow and I hung out for like the day and went around and talked a bit. What was her vibe? That's right. Mm -hmm. Her vibe was She's... very formal. Yeah, very formal, very like, very like elegant, like very proper Reserved. type of person. And like we checked out the herbs shops and stuff and she was looking for some specific things, I believe, from the, from the herb shop um and from the like components of some sort and then she i don't think she found them i think we had a really hard time searching for stuff in there and then she left what do we think about since we're on makuta's side there's no reason we're on sovas's bad side right we're on that we know of side? on his like on makuta. his good side sorry oh, makuta okay. is yeah. very okay. like yes, thank yeah. you for freeing me that, that was that was yeah. in character that was in character i oh, my bad. solution but the random mm. is like makuta's the oh. bad guy like no no we're just on he thinks yeah. we're on his side oh okay he thinks we help okay. him because like i'm a i'm planning on like we all <laughs> yeah later didn't he, didn't he say that we were gonna run into his friends or something like that his, his parting things? words were leave. You're welcome. <laughs> oh, yeah. Well, something about his friends being out here, though. Yeah, that's My true. thought is that we can try to just be nice and see if we can get in and figure out some more stuff because Tara is pretty close with Willow. They have a good little, like, they like I mean, plants. She might remember you. Yeah, sure. so, I mean, she might remember all of us for like setting her free or whatever. Well, also yeah. the problem though is if we come in there and she remembers us and we're all like, "Hey, we're here, Makuto sent us," she's gonna be like, "Oh, Judas, no!" You know, <sighs> like I don't know what she's gonna she's gonna think that we're betraying her, sort of thing. If they're hurting her, I have an idea. Do we have to tell them that we're with Makuto. I will say there has been a mis there has been a misconception. Before I get to you, Ben, real quick they the prisoner laughed at lady Widow, willow and was punished well, lady oh, willow lady was not willow the prisoner was... yeah oh I thought... oh no it no it was like I... it was like someone laughed and I then they were like there. you don't talk about lady willow like that oh uh, gotcha gotcha i thought lady i don't willow remember was... any of this so. no no i i was with you but good well, that my... we're all here now. All right, ben, you <laughs> have been... my stuff was crossed uh menti what was your idea? So, okay, look, y'all know I am not the sharpest cat in the swamp. I I don't um, think that's how that goes. It just, is. Just like listen, that. Do you want me to say words or do you want me to go back to sleep? Because I'll take a short rest when you guys figure out the stuff. I'll take a little cat, cat nap. nap. We're taking uh, short rest. Jinx. Uh, <laughs> you probably. Uh, no, do you have but... that spell, cat nap, by the way? Because it's. No. It lets you take a short rest in 10 minutes. No. So, no, it's so good. That's awesome. That's a good one. Um, 
I feel Idea. like being a cat would be. Ah, uh, uh, if you guys want to get up there and talk to them without them attacking us, I could, you know, spit some game. I'm sure. I'm gonna. I'm but, gonna need an explanation for you what. You know how that like meant. I got an entire village to convince that I was the devil. I don't <laughs> like this plan already. <laughs> that well, here's the thing that about involved plans. making them scared. <laughs> Uh, here, here's here's the thing about plans is that I don't finish them before I start them. I can get us in. So I don't think getting uh, in is really the problem. What if we just <laughs> is it? avoid them and just keep going? Where? Are they where are they where we need to go or are they just kind of on the way? They're kind of just on the way. Yeah, we could just oh. not they just keep going to Makuda. And nobody cares about the the prisoner that was punished? Did we care more recognize about the, the voice of the prisoner? Island. We were so close. <laughs> oh, he's going to make it someone we care about. So. Yeah, now no, no, no. We, now I, we I, do. I know who it is, but my... Mm, I'm not going to give anything away. It's Johnny. No. <laughs> no. The three people who heard it do not know who this person is. Four. Danky was with us. You right. Did Danky know? <laughs> hmm. <sighs> does it so, cost anything? So, so Tara, someone needs you... help? Yeah, does no. it cost anything for you, Tara, to fly, like to turn into an animal? Does that waste the spell slot for you? It's just a wild shape. I get so no. two. I get <laughs> two of those. I have one left. I can get it back in a short rest. So my thought was, what if you turn into something so you can fly overhead and see who the prisoner is and kind of scope out whether it's worth... Or even a squirrel. This is a very yeah. overcast... Yeah, let me think about it. Let me see. What are uh, so you, you'd rather someone turn into a squirrel than for me to... Do... It, it is a, it's flawless what I was going to do. I'm trying to... Imagine. Okay, no, it's fine. What what were you gonna do? No, yeah, you no, didn't don't quite worry about explain it. Explain that. Uh, okay. No, no, you don't get it. <laughs> okay. I wasn't I wasn't asking for me. I was asking for you because I know you you're burning to get it off your chest. But I. If you want to spike, keep it in. <laughs> I, I'm appalled. <laughs> yeah, you always are. There is a chance to save a life, oh. and you want to avoid. It at all costs? For what reason? Who are you talking to? All everyone in oh, general. Okay. Oh no, I'm gonna go she's check doing on the who old it man thing where he's just like, ah, She's gonna go, go scout out our approach. He's, we he's need a, a better idea of hungover. <laughs> I heard to think of what animal to be. I heard that we were going to avoid this rescue. <gasps> oh, can I Why turn are we into... even considering that? We're not we'll turn... just just it was just one of the options. Calm it's not down gonna be the and one feel that better. Do you want to turn into what, Tara? I would like to turn into a venomous snake. Sure. I would like to egg on Fizbin. Okay, so he's egging on Fizbin. <laughs> As I'm trying no, to like, not calm against him me, down. Though. Not against, I would like just, to egg Fizbin on the rest Just stirring of the, the pot. <laughs> I said I wanted no, to no, save No, no, don't do it out loud. Prison. What are you up to, Tara? <laughs> um, I'm just, while they're arguing and doing all of their, their stuff, so I'm going to just poof into a small, hopefully like brown colored venomous snake. I'm not very versed on okay. what snakes there are. Uh, but, but like more of a, maybe a slender black one. I don't know. Okay. Uh, but I want to be tinier ish. Like I want to look like a rope, you know? Uh, Okay. And I want to slither my way over in hiding in the grass sort of thing and okay. then see what I can taste and, and see in snake form. Because I know that, that if they're on the Endeavor, uh -huh. or if they're from the Endeavor, they won't have a smell, so they right. won't have a taste in my snake form. So if they are elves from the north or whatever, I should be able to taste them. Okay. Cool idea. You uh, You look like a water moccasin. And you kind of get in the creek. You're all black, and you have a diamond face. And cool. you and you start making your way. Um, one of the one areas that isn't just like 
you're able to weed your way into the circle of peat mammoths. There's no snake right there. This is my snake disguise. <laughs> no, this is my snake disguise. Oh, okay. Um, <laughs> all right. So, Lady Willow and 12 individuals, all elves, sit around a very small fire, cooking up some rats. Lady Willow herself, with her ma with her muzzle on that she can't take off, has some kind of strange IV drip just right in her elbow, right in the crook of her elbow, and uh, she's working this pouch, and you can see this strange, clearish red liquid that she's pumping into her veins. In a Um, gibbet, which is like a oval cage. You see an E1T, and all of them you can discern through your sense of taste in this case are from the northern continent. They look to be mostly archers, but the Willow, Lady Willow, has a rapier. Ready? All kind of quietly. You can also, all the faces of the peat mammoths are inside. <laughs> They're all just kind of looking around. Um, Slowly, you watch them kind of unskewer the rats and start cleaning, uh, just handing them out to various people. They throw the bones to the E1T, who kind of sucks on them. Hmm. She looks malnourished at this point. Hmm. Uh, what sort of cage is the E1T in? A gibbet. So it's a, it's like a, um, you, you, you're kind of, yeah, kind of, you're just kind of forced to. It's very narrow. You can't move yourself out very much at all. It's very confined, mm -hmm. uh, tall. It looks like they've just been dragging her behind the peat mammoth. One last thing. Under the under the nook of Lady Willow is a small myconid. A what? A myconid is a little fungal boy. A little, a tiny little mushroom lad. Um, and he's got little spores within the jar, uh, which seems to have kind of runic protection from getting, from allowing uh, anything to escape uh, the jar mm. itself. And it looks terrified. Just a little Goomba looking lad. How close is <laughs> he's, it? He's in the jar? He's in the jar. How close is the jar to her? Like she has, she has it like under her. Like, un yeah, she's she's she's, she's okay. got a hold of it, and you can see little little iridescent glows of spores inside the jar. Okay, um, can I tell what sort of like lock is holding the cage? Um, yeah, it's it's a it's a basic padlock with a couple of chains. She's also cuffed. Um, okay. sorry, her hands aren't cuffed, but her legs are. Okay. Okay. Um, well, that's all of the information that I can gather. I'll head back to the group. Yeah, one of the one of the peat mammoths noticed you as you slither on past, and it just kind of hmm, just watches you, <laughs> watches you go as you can. And uh, um, as as the party is still kind of bantering, I'm gonna go <laughs> Tara. I don't change out of wild. Oh, my shape. apologies. My apologies. Um, <laughs> I'm just gonna go right up to Mentiroso and just wait for him to cast. Uh, to do with animals or something so we can communicate okay yeah <laughs> minty you're, you're okay, sitting there stirring stopped. the pot stirring the pot <laughs> and, just, and then there's a snake <laughs> i just i just i just fully oh, like come yeah, up there's a very waving and, and like, trying I to get come... your attention snake no i i, I curl up his, oh. leg, his body and i come up to sit here on his shoulder 
Assuming Albert would be Terra. very okay. jealous right now if he cared. <laughs> Albert, if he who cared. Is on your head, does not care. <laughs> okay, I cast uh, Speak with Animals. I give them all of the information of what I saw. Okay. Well, we gotta save the Mike Nid. I save the Mike Nid. Gotta save the Iwanti. Uh, what so is it? it? Why are we saving the Mike Nid? Because it's interesting. <laughs> because it's, because he's a okay. prisoner and he deserves to be free. Uh, uh and and I feel like they need debatable. it for something. Like Makuto and them need it no. for something. Jake's the character stars. was a slave and he feels some type of way about imprisoned people. Also, uh I had lots of my kindred friends from the Underdark, so Hey. Wait, really? Uh, <laughs> yes, that's where they live. Uh, oh, great. <laughs> and, uh, They're underground whoop. folk. Ahead, it Tara. seems like it seems like most of their weaponry is for long range distances. Uh, so, what I could do is I could get in the middle and like caught like summon animals, or like we could make it that we can try and get in more. Or how do we want to combat this what volley if, of archers? What if we make something big enough for them to shoot at? listening what if we had someone that could catch arrows out of the air that's true he does have the miss the that's gloves true. of missile snaring what if we had someone who's already offered to make a distraction and we could set a trap i, mean, I wish we had someone like that well anyways i <laughs> If only. So I'm thinking major image. <laughs> I, do, I do, though. I do have mass suggestion. Auntie Dayton can, is not here anymore. Oh, mass that can work suggestion. Up to twelve people. So there are, there are twelve of them, right? <laughs> yeah, that sounds great. <laughs> you could just, just want to them. be a pincushion. <laughs> you could tell them all. That they there can be only one, and they must fight to the death. Whoa! And I then while do they're that doing too. that, while they're doing that, <laughs> we'll take With magic. We'll take the uh, the prisoners, and we'll leave, and they'll be too busy killing would, it themselves. That would, that I feel like this lady will set the thing down. No, because they're not harming themselves; they're harming each other. So it's not actually breaking. They're not doing anything harmful to them, so it's not breaking the spell. Yes. Yeah. Because they're killing each other instead. You know, That's a cool like, plan. Yeah. I like it's that horrifying. plan. There's, there's, <laughs> the reason Arthalos <laughs> is the way he is is because that spell works that mm -hmm. way. <laughs> oh, yeah. I like this plan. How do we feel about everybody down? H how many did they I say think there were? stupid. 12. Bad guys? A total of 12. And how many of the big monsters? Eight. Eight. And they were arranged in how circle a crunched circle. a formation pretty crunched pretty crunched pretty like, crunched crunched enough that two call lightnings might do a lot of damage about 20 feet they're all kind of or, or 30 feet they're all kind of packed in there yeah so like packed enough that two call lightnings would do a lot of damage from afar yeah just don't hit me because i think i have to get within 60 feet or we could just lightning them without having to do mass suggestion. Yes, would but, that, but would then that also get the, the mechanism and the yeah. No, because we control the lightning. Yeah. You see, oh. and we can just. But Willow might have holding arrows, it. but it is not quite as long as lightning bolts. Willow so is holding it, I, and that yeah. cage is metal. It's in a jar that's surrounded by magical runes. I so think... it can't get out. So we can't I am get just out, close but... to just walking in and doing the thing that I've been saying. I was but also, <laughs> also the but I'm... metal cage. Who is in a metal we're, cage? We're not going That's to attack the Yuan-T. That's the Yuan-T. We're not going to attack the Yuan-T. Oh. Yeah, we're, we're not going to hit that one. Yeah, then, yeah, go for it. It's not random lightning. in the air. <laughs> it, <laughs> okay. is, it is a pointed lightning. attack. We, we, we will give the her okay. terrible hair day. Oh, that's fine. Okay. Take as many out as we can from afar with magic, and then maybe threaten them afterwards. You guys are all viable that. plans. All right. I also kind of liked Menti's plan too. I just want to throw that out there. 
Thank you. I don't remember what his plan was. We haven't was, even though. heard yeah, his plan. Well, we haven't, haven't heard it. the plan. If you guys just plan. had arrows. Oh, if you guys just had a little faith, you would have seen it. His plan was to just walk in and do whatever he wanted, and I was totally fine with that. Well, then why don't we do that? Go for it. How Menti? about we do both? Minty, you run in there and you do whatever you want. And then and we'll then... take out the rest with lightning. Yeah. We'll be your backup. Yeah, yeah. I mean, you can give him a go word. Go. go. No. <laughs> <laughs> Heck, we can go in there invisibly if we wanted to. You, uh, it's pretty packed. This might cause the fear thing that Brady, you though, said like... you were kind of against. Oh, no. We're If we're doing this, this is completely against oh. that. <laughs> um, yeah, we. I was going to say we should befriend them and get information about what is their actual plan is and what the mission oh, is. Oh, yeah. we can't. I we... can do that. You just got to give me a goal for the lie. I mean, we're already saying you can go in and do what you want. So, yeah, if you can right, find out some information. I kind of just want to shoot lightning at you'll the still be able to speak Elvish. <laughs> what if, what if, what if I yell, if, if it out. turns, if it turns bad, I could yell, taste static, mush mouth, and then bam, that's your, that's your word. That's your, that's your bazinga. You're going to go with mush mouth? Yeah, I say things. Okay. <laughs> I just, final answer? You know what? Yeah, I say as soon as he gives the signal, you guys can attack. But if he Go doesn't, it. we can get some information. Sure. Try try All to right. get her away from the mic unit. Try to get her to move away from that so it's open. Willow. Yeah. Willow is the one, and I'm going to describe what Willow roughly looks like. The one with the mask, like... And I'm going to I'm gonna stay the on the snake form. The one that looks miserable because she can't Ooh, talk and has a thing shut play. on her arm. What was that? She's going to stay in Snake on his shoulder. If I see it get away, I'm going to try and go steal the thing. Good. Uh, let's hope it gets away from me. Um, I want to give uh, Bardic Inspiration ah, to uh, nice. Ben. Menti. Okay. okay. Yes. That's a D8, D10. It's a D8, I believe. Yeah, Depends I think. Depends on her level. D10. Oh. D10, okay. Ooh. So that so the way that works is uh, any roll, you can use it once, an additional Before detail. I find out whether it fails, right? Correct. Okay. Okay. Minty, you have the, you have the spotlight. You kind of get up and kind of... <laughs> I'm already starting to regret this. <laughs> no, I'm just kidding. <laughs> oh, don't worry. Uh, how far away are we from the creatures? Uh, about, about about eighty feet. Okay, um, and it's all just like an open thing. Or it's, they're uh, the it, only there's, ones. There's in, a bunch like, of little opening. sparse trees, but there's a, a general overhang and a creek going through the middle of their camp. And then the eight peat mammoths are in a circle around the camp, and that's why you can't see them um, with their faces kind of inward. Okay, I'm just like thinking, would they notice a spike growth spell being cast? Probably. Okay. Not like on top of them, but just like in between us and them. It does disappear. With the mammoths You're in the way? To try. Well, oh yeah, are the mammoths it's looking not, around? It's not like quiet. It's not like a quiet thing. Uh, there, there's actually, it talks about whether or not they notice it. Oh, you're right. I forgot about that. Where did where what? <laughs> He's looking. They're up. gonna see if they can see it. The appearance. Oh, stop scrolling down. This says any creature that can't see the area at the time the spell is cast must make a perception check against your spell save DC to recognize the terrain okay. as hazardous before entering it. Right, but if that's if you're not doing it in their space, right, and I'm not, like, oh wait, yeah, um, and the appearance of the ground is not altered in any way. Okay, cool, yeah. awesome, thank you both of you. Make yes, you may do that effect. without them noticing. Okay, so I would like, I want there to be, it's it's forty feet in diameter, so I want thirty feet 
before them. So like thirty yeah. feet away from them. Okay. We're so eighty, so that would... you don't so that you won't have to roll stealth. Yeah. You do it before you walk. Yeah, it's you... it, I can cast it up to one hundred and fifty between feet away, the party so. and the peat mammoths. Yeah, so it's fifty. Also, feet... to point out is there are four more natives on your side. Yeah. Kind of in a ring on in the in far away, another eighty feet. Okay. You know, from the center of this of this camp. So the spike growth starts ten feet in front of us. Okay. And it ends 30 feet before them. Okay. And you start making your way, I assume, around that? Uh, oh, no. I can walk right through it. Okay. So you, you walk right through it. What do you do? Okay. And I yell, Hey! I've been looking all over for you guys. Jimst and Silvas have been meaning to ask me to find you guys for hours. So, at hey, faces appear from the peat mammoths. Uh, as if they and and then step forward a little bit uh, two archers hop up onto the top of these creatures and yeah yeah put your put your bows down I'm here to see Lady Willow Jimps and Silvas are, are asking about her speaking in speaking in uh, Elvish Elvish Absolutely. So boss and who? Jimst. Okay. That was the name that yeah they said was they, he went up to go meet Silvas and never came back. Yeah. Oh, smart man. Um, roll persuasion. Deception. Yeah. And if you need it, you do have bardic, bardic inspiration. inspiration, but you okay, don't have gonna, to use it right now. I'm gonna add the bardic. Just because I want this to go per oh, well, that's a one. Okay, so eighteen on the deception check. Okay. They pause and they start to they start to let down their bows. And uh then you hear something from Willow and they put their bows back up. Uh you hear like a, a dissonant and then all the other ones kind of start coming coming up. Uh two other peat mammoths disengage from the side and start <laughs> They walk 20 feet forward, kind of flanking. Not going all the way around as to flank, but kind of spread out. And you see Lady Willow kind of walks off to walks into view. Kind of looks at you. Hey! Uh, where have you have you been here this whole time? A volley is shot at you. Rude. <laughs> Are you gonna say the <laughs> signal or no? Two arrows oh, land at your feet. Matter. Well, this is not the warm welcome I was expecting. Fizbin. So Fizbin had no intention of waiting for the signal anyway. <laughs> okay. He just wanted to get to the position where he could see the the, the covered creature and then begin the spell. Okay. Counter spell. No. Nope. <laughs> so you see Willow and you recognize the ornate muzzle of the nobility of the elves. And you, yeah. you feel a specific type of way. Yeah. So from 120 feet away, I cast Call Lightning. Okay. Let's all roll initiative. <laughs> this was Good going try, so ben. well. Good try, Ben. You had you had everyone but Willow. Oh, this is gonna be big. You could have had you could have had everyone. Just been would not have cared. <laughs> <laughs> he was he was like yeah go yeah, ahead put him do in the put him in the chat want. for me. Just walk on over and then just the, he was full lightning bolt. In this his is gonna take a minute. It's a lot of critters. Yeah, if they're all the same creature, don't you just roll one initiative for all of them, though? No, that's a swarm. Uh, no, I'm that's wrong. I'm learning. I like. Ignore mine. How do I delete? Cannot delete. <laughs> you it's don't. very strange. Okay, well, ignore that. <laughs> it feels odd to me that uh, I am literally in the middle of it, and I have rolled the lowest. <laughs> <laughs> Slow reaction. <laughs> 
Okay, you weren't expecting I, you, this lightning bolt. You did not expect I, that lightning bolt. Adam. I see the lightning yeah. bolt come down. I just very quickly go. Not say taste, the word. taste static, mush mouth. <laughs> <laughs> like it was all part of the plan. The plan's still working. <laughs> um, just as far as positioning goes, I am standing in the middle of my spike growth. Oh gosh, Understood. right, we are like 80 feet away. Yeah. You're... That is an issue. 10 feet from the spike growth, and the spike growth goes for 40 feet. Can we go through the spike growth? Um, let me... Ch I think because you're with me, you can actually travel through difficult terrain. But let me check. That might, that might be a different a ranger feature all on its own. I think that's travel. How many rangers did I say? Truthfully? 12? I guess it's so there was one the lady total. willow, Thank you. Oh, okay. and then 12 uh, humanoids. Yeah, that's why we were going to do mass suggestion, because right. I could have got them all. Well, I feel like I I'll, I just cast mass suggestion with my voice. <laughs> Almost. But it's, I don't it's, know. It's, it's I, got, I got all of them except for the woman, so... <laughs> Convince them to not attack you, yes. You did it would without it, magic, kind of. Yeah, would it have been a saving throw for them? Yeah. Yeah, yeah. It's a magical so... Throw. Logically, 11 out of 12 is but, like the but best here's odds the, you're getting. But here's the thing, if she were to do that and say there can be only one, even the ones that succeed still have to deal with all the others that didn't that mm -hmm. are trying to kill them yeah it's true um I so cast spike growth level, itself though. spike growth itself doesn't say that you guys are saved from it no uh but no, you do sure see it but well, you do see it because you saw the area before i cast it okay and then let me check to see if there's any ranger features that... Sorry, this is taking a while. There's a lot of creatures. This is a, this is gonna be a long fight. Is it? Is it? <laughs> Might not be. Oh wow. Okay. My walking speed is five feet faster than it shows. So if we try to go through it, we'll take 2d4 piercing damage every 5 feet we go. Mm-hmm. Love that for us. <laughs> Love that. Uh, yeah, so it doesn't look like I can save you guys from the spike growth. Nope. You got this, bud! You're on your own! <laughs> <I'm> just... <laughs> Everybody flee! No! Well, it's centered on me, so you guys can just move 20 feet to one side and be outside of the range of it. I also don't even know that, like, he's doing anything to attack them yet. It's true. I just think a freak lightning just This is just, this just, is just came freak storm just started happening. So is it a sneak attack? All right, so the lightning hits first. It's not a sneak it's attack. A um, it is a surprise uh, attack. attack. But just that one thing? Yeah. So go ahead okay. and do your boom. But Tara and Fizbin were doing it at the same time, right? No, Tara, Tara did not in, uh, specify that. Tara's a snake no. on my show. Oh. a snake. Yeah. Right. All right, Fizbin, go to work. Uh, yeah. So the lightning, the lightning, almost, almost black in nature with the amount of hate he has for this creature, strikes down on top of her. Uh, on the DC willow. Yes, DC okay. 17 dex saving throw, please. Failure. Uh, he will use his channel divinity and she will take 50 lightning damage. Nice. Okay, 
So this is an interesting bit. It, it fries her. It, you watch the lightning hit her. You can see her skull and it goes into the ground and spread. And then she takes a reaction and you watch her wounds heal up. I know what this is, but I can't say anything. <laughs> like all, like all the way up. Yeah. Can we? Can I make some kind of check, either Arcana or something, to identify the spell that she used, or no? You may. Arcana can I or something. Or something no. Else. No. <laughs> I feel like and everyone watching this woman take a lightning bolt to the dome, melting and then being brought back up, fits very nicely into my deception that very powerful <laughs> creatures are asking me to find them. <laughs> I think we're past that uh, part. <laughs> Ar Arcana, religion, medicine, nature, what am I rolling? You can roll uh, Arcana, insight, or perception. Choose your highest. <laughs> uh, well, definitely insight. Okay, roll an insight. He has no intelligence. <laughs> uh, ooh, that's good. Uh, then that would be a 25. Okay, there, there was a reaction where you did not see her move at all. You didn't see her do anything, but she took a reaction and she healed. Uh -huh. 50 points of damage. It's like she revived like she went she, back in time she no it's like no it's like <laughs> someone else did it to her she took a reaction um and healed she also didn't die she didn't die she has more than 50 hit points interesting that is a, a healing spell i need to learn <laughs> you're not 100 percent sure it was a spell Right, because that there's no way there is no spell. spell like that. The spell does yeah. not exist like that. That yeah. is definitely some kind of something else. Uh, wow, that pisses me off. <laughs> okay, surprise round uh, is the elves are strong. Oh, you know what? Hang on. Uh, yeah, that that was a uh, that was a cast a spell surprise round. So yeah. All right, Thranduin, you're up. Let's do this. Oh, whack them, buddy. <laughs> There's one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen, fifteen, sixteen, seventeen, eighteen, nineteen, twenty, twenty-one, twenty-two, twenty-three, twenty-four, twenty-five, twenty-six, twenty-seven, twenty-eight, twenty-nine, thirty, thirty-one, thirty-two, thirty-three people in this fight. Where did the others come from? The natives, oh, the elves, including us. and okay. the peat mammoths, oh. and you guys. Oh. There's a lot going on here. I thought, you just on meant on enemies. Here. I thought <laughs> enemies. Yeah, I, thought I was like, like, oh. No, yeah, wait a minute. Yeah, they all just kind of show up. <laughs> Hang on. Hang on a second. What's your passive perception? <clears throat> Mine, 14. 14? Okay. I'm not high. Uh... <sighs> Buckling in line. for a big old fight. <laughs> Did she grab, does she still have the mic in it? Did she leave that behind when she came up to It looks like she left it behind. <gasps> See, I did my job. Yeah, yeah, you did, good job. <laughs> and they're how far away? 80 feet. 80 feet. And you have 40 feet of spike growth in front of you. There are, uh, uh, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight of them on top of their peat mammoths. And the other ones have have either you can't see or the willow has stepped out. Two of the peat mammoths from the circle have stepped off to the sides about 10 feet. How many are still in the camp or have they all moved out of the camp forward? And we've all we've all decided that the deception isn't going to continue working anymore, even though none of them have seen you guys yet. Not likely. OK. All right. OK. Also, they, they, don't know the, where... they know where she they are. Well, they, they don't know where you don't know is. if they know where you are. I'll say that. I know where you are for starters. Yeah, well, yeah. But I'm you don't there. know if they can see the rest of them. Okay. Uh, just, we're in the underbrush. Are you hidden? Still with Pass Without Trace, hidden. Yeah. Okay, then they, then they likely don't see you. Okay. Um, but how many are still in the camp? Two. Not including the E1T in the cage. 
I am 30 feet in front of you guys and 50 feet in front of them. In the middle of my spike growth with Terra on my shoulder. Mm. That they can't see. Yeah. Denki is by uh is by for D. I forgot Denki was that. Oh yeah. Hey. Go whack him. <laughs> How big is oh, the jar man. with the Mykonid in it? Is it like a, a big Mykonid or is it like a small? Okay, so, so small enough that I can throw it in a backpack. Yeah. Probably. Yeah, yeah. Okay. Put it in okay. your inventory, yeah. <laughs> uh... And I have... Oh, yeah, 33. We're not including Albert. How, uh... <laughs> yeah, you better include Albert. He's gonna eat them all. <laughs> okay. Is Albert right. an albino gator or a regular gator? Uh, Albert, I'm gonna... Hang on a second, Jake, go ahead. Absolutely albino. Absolutely, got it. I'm going to dimension door into the camp. You recognize the E1T. Is it Falal? No. Oh, is good. It, Donnie? it is. I want to make sure I say the name correctly. Sorry, where to put my heckin' there it is. Got a lot of notes over here. Frick, I just had it. My apologies. Sister Weave. That sounds really familiar. Mm -hmm. Like I should know who that is. And Thranduin definitely knows who it is. Definitely? But I don't. Uh, no. Um, should we do a history check? Is I mean, it the girl you, you chased just, around? You, or do you want to just say you remember who it is? Uh, I'll leave that in your ball. In your, I mean, if your... you were to tell me, I would be able to determine whether or not he uh, would remember who okay. it is. Okay, um, but... sure. Then Sister Weave is the um, Black Market House Rot member. That's right. The one who I didn't like. Yeah. <laughs> the one who <laughs> was pointedly making a profit, but also helping these Iwan-T uh natives in essentially helping, helping. She, she definitely was supplying food when they were all going hungry but she was making she was trading that food it wasn't she was also pro bono she yeah she was mm. trading food for blue metal well first thing i'm gonna do is i'm gonna put boyo in my backpack okay you grab boyo <laughs> here <laughs> uh uh, they can mentally communicate. Telepa yeah, telepathically they can communicate. Yeah. Um, He's in his jar though, so it, it seems it's likely that he is not. Whether able or not to he can or not, I'm gonna be like thinking like positive, like it's okay. Save you vibes. I, I'm you're safe with me. Cool. Kind of a thing. I'm gonna put him in my uh, just put him in my pocket. That is the second time I've just needed the dice. Off well done, time. my dude. It's, uh, it's a, it's not a, it's not a, it's not a long shot episode. If, if at least one of us doesn't eat their dice, I, I dropped my dice before the stream, so it doesn't count. I was wondering if it would happen. <laughs> Sister Weave, uh, does like a lurch it, to look over at you and she, and her eyes just go wide. And mine are just like, there's <laughs> one, mine narrow, like you. <laughs> she looks in rough shape. Yeah. All right. So, uh, where are <laughs> where are the two in the camp located at, and have they noticed? They have. Since, um, since I still have passed without trace. Um, well, I'm. Well, I think. I guess. Pass without trace has a distance on it. Shh. Okay. Thank you, Ben. <laughs> Actually. Is it just cast on the person when you cast? Yeah, it? Just... range is self, and then all of your companions. Oh, yeah, okay. So. 
Yeah, one of them does and goes, ah! <laughs> <laughs> uh, <literally>, just drow! <laughs> excuse me. Uh, <laughs> well, I don't have any more actions. He's got the so, Koopa! <laughs> uh, so I will position myself at Lady Weave. Okay. I'm gonna post up, ready for the inevitable barrage <laughs> that will come my way. Okay. <laughs> for just I feel like they're all facing me except for two, so you're gonna be right. fine on this and first I mean, round. They are gonna be dealing with lightning, <laughs> so we'll we'll see what happens. Also, but all he's the, gonna, all he's the gonna be ready. mammoths are like looking at you. <laughs> yeah, I'm gonna have my hands full, quite literally. Alright, so that will be the end of my turn, just like... Okay. Is there like a bonus action like defensive stance you can take? Is that a thing? Mm, dodge. Yeah, yeah you, you dodge can take the. Do yeah, you stance. can hold it, on the dodge action. It's a. Uh, uh, if it's a full action, I can't because I use my action. Too. I'm pretty sure it's a full action. Yeah. Yeah. Okay. Oh, I guess only just some. Okay. It might be rogues that can do it on a bonus action. Yeah. Mm -hmm. yeah. Rogues get it as a level. <sighs> the will of the storm father will not be ignored. Avatar State. You, and this is the first time, I believe, yep. correct me if I'm wrong, first time you see this, uh, uh, Mintaroso, where yep, yep. lightning strikes <laughs> him, and he, like, turns into this bipedal being of light, of, of lightning just crackling around him within a certain radius, and he just starts flying, and you see two pissed oh, off, yeah. smoldering eyes, uh, okay. from within, he just, sure. like, That'll help get over the spikes. Absolutely. Yes, I am hovering now as I make 30 feet forward. Is there, uh, I was 120 feet away from Willow. So you were 80, you were feet, 80 away. feet I was Okay, I was 80 feet away from Willow. I'm moving 30 feet forward now. How far away is there? Is there you're anyone on, within 30 feet of me at this point? You're on top of no me. enemies. So there are there are no, allies. I'm not like above you. I I will. I'm just I'm just slightly above the ground. Yeah. I haven't gone up. Oh, okay. Yeah, yeah. Uh, <clears throat> allies, yes. Enemies, no. Okay. Then I have no bonus uh, action. It depends on how you consider the natives. The, the natives who have been traveling with you. Oh uh, yeah, they're. Okay. I mean, I don't know. <laughs> I'm working on the elves right now. Okay. <laughs> We'll deal with them later. <laughs> All right. I, I just very quickly look at Fisbe and go, you look different. <laughs> Don't face. Crackling Murder energy. Time. <laughs> His whole aura has changed. <laughs> I'm an avatar of lightning yeah, right yeah, now. Yeah. <laughs> and you're less fun to mess with. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> oh, yeah. All right. You have pseudo ascended into your avatar form. Is that your? Just, that's a that's an action. So okay. I have to. Anything you know, with your bonus have... action? Um, not if there's not an enemy within thirty feet of me. Okay. A creature is heard by anyone with a passive perception over fourteen, fourteen or over, rustling about in the trees. He's in the trees. He's All right. Tree. One ranger shoots his shot. Uh, he's on top of the peat mammoth in the back end of the circle. He looks down at Thranda when he goes, ah, he's got the, he's got the mushroom thing. And he shoots his shot. <laughs> uh, your AC, my friend, is very high. With a two. <laughs> Let me check. Yeah, that don't hit. That's close, but it doesn't hit. Uh, yeah. An arrow from from maybe 15 feet up, just right off the helm, right off the armor, into the ground. And he quickly slices up another one and misses again. Just, just looks up bored. Like, <laughs> <laughs> the I thought elves were supposed to be good at this. The peat man. You're doing our people up. poorly. Our people are disappointed in you. Like a trunk just <laughs> whips out to hit you. Uh, Eleven. That is a twenty-eight to hit. Sorry, a thirty-one to hit. So this thing has just a strength bonus hit. of twenty. Is what you're telling me? Uh, yeah, I'm pretty sure it hits. 
Okay. Yeah, that hits. Brandon, are 31. you adding anything? 30, so 31. Uh, 31 to hit. No. Okay. Uh, if it's it slow. Doesn't, it doesn't hit you? A 31 well, no, to no. hit? No, it does. Oh, okay. No. My bad. You, you asked if I was adding anything. I, I misheard. No. I misheard. Yeah, my bad. When I say something and then immediately forget the context. Um. All right. You take eight, seven. Um, good lord, math right now. You take 15 points of bludgeoning damage. And this is, where is this, is this thing? Within... This is from the peat mammoth that the archer is on top of. Uh, it's, it's got like a, tr it, an appendage comes out like a trunk and it whips you and you take it right to the, right to the chin. Um, hang on. Is the music too loud, my friends? Or are we good? No. Back right no, I'm good. Okay. So it's 15, like how far away from it? Five feet. Oh, okay. Then I will uh, use my blood for each tattoo and I will attack it back. Nice. Let's go. Okay. And it is with advantage. Okay. I have eyes and can see it. <laughs> yes, not 20. Let's go. Exclamation point kill crit in the, the chat. Kill the mammoth. Kill the mammoth. It's like, you want to mess with me? That's fine. <laughs> That's fine. Come at me, brother. Uh, what size creature is the mammoth? Huge. Huge, okay. I don't believe this will work. Okay. Oh, huge. Huge. <laughs> Alright. Are they all elves? Except for the E1T and the KGS. Oh. So that the means they're against are being elves. charmed, uh, aren't they? Eight, 18 magical slashing. 18 magical oh. slashing. And then... I will use Eldritch Smite. Okay. And I will deal... Mm, oh, no, I can't. I can only use Warlock spell slots for this. So I will do uh, regular Divine Smite then. Okay. I thought I could use my Paladin spells for the Eldritch Smite. I cannot. So that's going to be It's gonna be 28 radiant damage. Okay. Sounds good. Uh, is that your turn? It wasn't this. I was my reaction. Sorry, you're right. Uh, okay. Secondary archer, the one who's another archer who's down uh, with you, grabs his sword and goes. Give that back. And he goes for a stab. Um, with a short sword, that is a 23 to hit and does not hit. I just smile as it glances off my shield. <laughs> yeah. just... He's going to panic and he's going <laughs> to attempt to kill the E1T. So he, he glances off you and he looks down the E1T and sticks her uh, with a 19 to hit. That does hit. Um, one D six plus four, seven damage to the E1T. She goes, ah! um, X. I mean, if she dies, she dies. I'm not that concerned about her, <laughs> right? Brandon's <laughs> right, like, oh no, he doesn't know her history. Like, yeah, she's not but the it greatest. But it does say something like... that in the face of a terrifying adversary, 
that she he would go for her. Right, she's not important. That Twitch guy. Thank you for the new follow. Uh, that or Twitch she's not guy. that important. Or maybe she's so important. No, that she is that she important. Yeah. Oh, yeah, she oh, is that important. I mean, the both, information can, she it, has. We can bring her back. We can bring her back from that end. It's, it's not really an issue. <laughs> yeah, right. yeah it, you just go, yeah, kill her. Another it. Pete Mammoth is going to take a <laughs> Do it. We'll bring her back. Cleric's busy right now. Yeah, but it lasts a while. So the whenever it is light right now. Add your earliest convenience. A Pete Mammoth from the side. Hits you from the side of the head, and it does not hit you. <laughs> I just like I'm like laughing, and I'm just like, Dink. yeah, pretty much. <laughs> it just crashes off your shield. All right, um, which is a tower shield, by the way. So it's Tessa, just a massive wall. You're up with Bridie on deck. Who? Tara. Sorry, I wrote it wrong. <laughs> I was gonna say who's Tessa. I wrote Taylor and then scribbled Every over time. it, Tara, uh... <laughs> and it just looks like Tessa. <laughs> So I am on Ben's shoulder, or Mentiroso's shoulders. A yes. Water snake. Yes. In the Just middle of, of spike, spike growth. growth. Absolutely. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. So I can't get off of you. If you want to hold your turn until it. I throw you. You can get on his legs over the shoulders kind of a thing, you know? Just like a... Deer on a cat. All right. <laughs> if you stay in snake form, I could shoot you. You could wrap around an arrow, and I could shoot you away. I'll make you do an acrobatics, but you could like come out on of wild shape and stay on his back, or or you know, whatever. I'm not very acrobatic. I have hooves. That's a good point. <laughs> I am not very good at standing on people's <laughs> shoulders. Uh, I mean, mountain goats have hooves, and they're like all in the mountains, so you're probably like can, you're better at it. Could I Great come? Could I jump as a snake, poof out of wild shape, and then uh, plant my staff down and have it turn into a tree? I would like to point out the damage will not happen to you until you move. So if I just fall so down on spikes, if she I'll just be lands fine. in if it, just, she's okay. Yeah, stay on yeah, the it's, ground. It's and then... for every five feet you move, you take damage. All right, then I'll just yeah. I'll just pop out a wild shape next to him, uh, and I will cast scroll iPad. I'm gonna cast Wrath of Nature. Okay. Uh, because it's my favorite. Uh, and just get all freaking powerful. All right, you ready for all of this? Uh, it's a 120 foot square, uh, concentration up to one minute. So I want to get as many as I can, uh, mainly protecting my friends in the middle and the prisoner because I can dictate who it attacks. Uh, grass and undergrowth, the areas uh, of the ground in that cube is covered by grass and undergrowth and it is difficult terrain for all of my enemies. Okay. Uh, trees. At the start of each of my turns, each of my enemies within 10 feet of any tree in that cube, because you said that there were some trees around, yeah, uh, must succeed a dexterity saving throw. The trees must? No, the people next oh, to the right. trees. Oh, right. Thank you, because they're going to do their thing. The trees are going to hit them. Yeah. Um, so I don't know if that counts as right now or if that's not uh, until next turn. So I just cast the spell for it all to... So it begins happening. I'm going to say... It's Usually, gonna, once you cast a spell, it it you, it, it happens it, it once procs I cast it. and it procs on the beginning of their turn. Yeah, because they're Kay. it's when it happens and then at the start of their turn or whatever. All right, okay. stand by. I got a lot of rolling to do. <laughs> yeah, so dex dex save throw, please. All right, Roll so low. let's let's say this. Willow first. It'll be what a did they have to make? Fifteen. Yeah, Willow fails. Ah, All right. stupid. Um. I'll roll the damage once you know how many okay. people are next to trees. Let me write down that she fails. Good lord. Okay. Three more rangers are next to trees. One succeeds. Good. Okay. Uh, so those that fail will take... Roll. Roll, please. There we go. Uh, those that fail will take 12... Uh, slashing damage, those that succeeded will take six. Um, or actually, I don't know if they take any. It doesn't say that they only take half, so maybe they don't take any at all. 
Oh, okay. Um, there, I can't see. Sorry, I'm. I can't. I'm rolling on D and D Beyond, so it's messing up. You're good. Uh, roots and vines. At the end of my turn, one creature of your choice that is on the ground must make a strength saving throw. So, can Willow make a strength saving throw for me, please? Oh no. Oh no. Uh, that's a three. Where did my good rolls go? <laughs> she is restrained. Yeah, they, you... She's uh, restrained so she... on me. She is restrained, so she can use her action on her turn and try and get out of it again if she wants. Okay. Uh, and then for my bonus action, I'm going to cause a rock uh, to launch at her as well. Okay. Uh, so spell attack. Click it. You don't need to. Okay, you're not going to click it for me. Boop. Roll. That's going to be 15 plus 9, so 24 to hit. 24 to hit hits. Great. And then this will be 3d8 non-magical bludgeoning damage. Hey, technically, isn't everyone flanked right now since Thranduin's on the other side? No. No. Okay. <laughs> That's not how it works. Yeah, uh, you're, good. Uh, you're good. Uh, 21, five feet. 21 oh. bludgeoning damage. Okay. Uh, and then, uh, can she make a strength saving throw for me, please? Eight. Great. She falls prone with the roots now, okay. pulling her down. And she's down. just having a bad day. <laughs> and that what will be my turn. Standing out. <laughs> this is what you get for not believing me. This is what you get for for healing All fifty right. damage Pretty lightning with a reaction. This is what you get. We have. 20 minutes so we'll probably have to continue this fight next episode ah yes what do you think is that a, a <laughs> challenge it, it absolutely is it'd be awesome if we could end this fight i'd be i'd be shocked shocked I'm i say like roll quicker damage this whole time <laughs> so i'm gonna run forward um not through the okay so you spiky bits. go off to the side and go in yeah so i have 30 feet so how close would that get me Ben? So it's it's a twenty foot diameter, and I don't really know how circles work in this diameter game. Diameter is from one end to the other, so she'd only have to go ten feet out, and she can go twenty feet forward. Okay. So you can. Right. Move I'm sorry. It's feet. a forty foot diameter. She is in the middle though, so okay, she has so to then, move twenty feet. But it is yeah. a circle, so she's like, you have to move forward ten feet to get to the edge of it, and then twenty feet to the side to get to the 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 far edge. So Why? you're ten feet. So closer. you're right on the edge of it. Yeah. <laughs> well, gosh dang it. <laughs> That's fine. Um, yeah. Uh, sure. <laughs> um, yeah. I'm gonna. And then you're seventy feet away from the action. Yes. Thank you. I'm going to do moonbeam then. Okay. On. On one of the mammoths. Okay. Uh, one each one that of them has. Been... Okay. Each one of them has a ranger on it. Or an archer, sorry. So I can um, hit both of them. Correct. Great. Definitely want to do that. Con saves um, or deck saves? I can't remember. Uh, con. 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 All right. 16. 16. The ranger does not make it, but big boy does. Heat mammoth is okay. But the ranger just goes. Oh, and just okay, so that got. means the mammoth's going to get half, right? Right. Is that yeah, he's yeah. still in okay. there, but he takes half. Okay, so I'm doing da, 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 da. these. Okay, I'm, don't don't. Thanks for coming in, Throne Dog. Have a good one. Um. Oh, he's not leaving. He's just saying like good night. Sixteen. Making... Sixteen. So sixteen for the archer and eight for the mammoth. Beefy boy. Okay. And then with my bonus action. Who's near me? Is it uh, Fizbin who's closest to Fizbin, me? Fizbin, yeah. And you're and you're 20 feet away from... Um, me, Fizbin, and Terra are all within 30 feet of you. Oh, and Dayton. And one of the natives. Danky. Thank you, Danky. I was like, Dayton? What? There's yeah. a lot going on in my brain right now. <laughs> <laughs> I'm going to give Bardic Inspiration to Fizbin. Okay. Oh, the, the lightning person? 
Yeah. Yeah. 100%. <laughs> Definitely. Uh, right, I guess that's your turn. Fair. Yeah, that's my turn. All right, Willow. Can she speak, Tara? Willow? Yeah, yeah. she can speak. All right. Well, but I mean, she has she, a mask on. You hear her. You hear her make a muffled scream. Every single ranger takes a shot. This is a legendary action. Rallying cry. Basically. Yeah. Are these eight individual damages or is yes. this one? Dang these it. are eight individual shots from eight individual <sighs> rangers. You're not going to catch all eight arrows, no, unfortunately. You can catch one. <laughs> No, it's not that I was gonna. If it was one big thing, I would have just moved the damage onto someone else. Is what I would have. Done. <laughs> mm. One crit fail. Ha! <laughs> what a loser. His, his bowstring so snaps. The bow, the one of the bowmen's in the back of the circle hits the, one of the bowmen in the front of the circle. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. And that dummy, dude I dies. Laugh out loud dies Straight yeah he up. already took damage from earlier oh okay oh, i don't remember what i was about damn. to be wildly yeah. frightened by how oh yeah these so in are. the moonbeam <laughs> just in the moonbeam just right through the throat <laughs> dorky's like did i do that <laughs> all right did i do that <laughs> fizzbin your ac is oh they're not attacking 20. me you're just a dude standing there. <laughs> there's, yeah. there's, there's, there's a, a lot of nothing. <laughs> this is working out hella in my favor. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Uh, AC of 20. You get hit three times. Okay. Oh, that is terrifying. I'm guessing it's all piercing. Archer's eye as a bonus action and archer. Oh, no, they can't use bonus actions right now. Never mind. That's right. <laughs> Hush. <laughs> <laughs> Dayton. Dayton. Why do I keep saying Dayton? Danky. Danky Danky. Danky gets an arrow in the stomach. <gasps> no. At least it wasn't to the knee. <laughs> He's over then. All right. One in the back takes a shot at Thranduin. Both miss. Oh no. Oh, it's so uh -oh. good. It feels so good. <laughs> <laughs> One shot goes for Terra and it goes wide. Nice. One shot for Bridie goes wide. Yes! <laughs> Really happy about that one. <laughs> What's your AC, Mentoroso? 16. One arrow comes your way. You catching it? Oh, I am absolutely catching it. Roll to catch. Or however the... It's, if it's so like it's monks. It's 1d10 plus my dex mod. 1d10 plus your dex? All right. So I take six... I, it, six damage. is it, I either take six damage off it or I just completely catch it if it is six it or less. Eight damage. On top of the six? Nope. Eight full damage is coming your way. Okay, so I, t I caught six damage of that. So, like, the tip of it just kind of, like, stuck into me. All right. He so I take two damage. All right. And that's where we're going to leave it for tonight. We'll be picking up right oh, here after That Willow's. ended so well. And that is, <laughs> we, that is Willow's we first have, action. We still have 13 minutes left. We have... You're right. I'm sorry. I was looking at the wrong countdown. All right, Willow. Up. I have Sorry, yeah. no, thank you. I'm glad you said that. I wanted to give <laughs> enough time for us to do the goodbyes because I know we have to end right on the dot, right on the money. Um, all ahead. right, Willow. So she can take her, uh, an action to try to break out of this. Is that what I'm hearing? Yep. Yeah, okay. she can take, uh, make the... But she's still prone, so she'll have to stand up as well. Yeah. yeah. She had like a number of things, right? Yeah, she is restrained and, and there's and a prone. rock on her. And prone. Well, the rock just knocked her over. The okay. the vines, oh. the roots are what has her down. Does a 13 break her out? I don't think so. No, it does not. 15. It has okay. to do 15. All right. Uh, I guess that's her. That's her deal. Yep. That is. Just, just throws a fit on the ground. <laughs> <laughs> All 
All right. Is Something there like... in your mind, Tara. You hear. Hello. You hear. There you are. And you look up. And you see a Nothic. One great a a Nothic. One great green eye. Kind of this goblin y, golem y looking thing, but just one huge green eye uh, in the center of its head. Make a wisdom saving throw. Ooh. Is this a spell or magical effect? I'm sorry. Uh, yes, it is. It's a con save. Great. I have advantage on spells or magical effects. Roll again. No, just roll the dice again. No. <laughs> I got a 17. Okay, you're good. Oh my goodness. You you briefly feel super nauseous, and then you and you shake it off. However, you do now have to make a contested charisma check. Your deception versus my insight charisma check yep okay so you're just you make a deception, deception check, check versus my oh, insight deception check. all oh. right i'm not the best at deception how's a six? Oh. i just beat you with a seven uh. oh. i just beat you with a seven um oh. has been no one else is from the northern continent Fizzbin, make a history check real quick. Also, how much damage been is making he taking from those, uh, those three hits that he took? Sorry? Hey, you never rolled damage. Oh, on I never Fizzbin rolled your damage. Three times, Thank you yeah. for reminding me. George! Like 12. <laughs> Fizzbin probably have a pop quiz knows today? nothing. You take 14 <laughs> piercing damage. Physically. Damn, right. that was so close. I said that's 12. A, you, that's a five forget, history check, so, you know. If you forget to roll oh, damage, God. it's automatic. Oh. I'm sorry, you Wait, said you 15? Sorry, hang yeah, on. Bard. You said 15 damage? 14 piercing 14. damage. Not 147. You do have bardic inspiration. Is what I think Dorky was just trying to say. I rolled a 2. I'm, I'm not going to use bardic inspiration. On the history check? Okay. Yeah. I finally dropped the d4. Um, oh. Jake, you said something. No, I was just... I was just okay. Up. I was like, if you forget to roll damage, then it's automatically minimum damage. <laughs> That's nice. I agree with that. Damage. That's a good rule. Like that one time I forgot to attack and you just didn't let me have it. Yeah. And I, I succeeded on all three of my concentration checks. Okay. Nice. Okay. That's the Nothic's turn. Minty, you're up. Oh boy. Uh, did I notice the Nothic too? I don't think it would change my attack. I'm gonna say turn, but... you do realize it's there. You hear, okay. you hear like a from from Terra. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> um, okay. Well, I'm gonna cast uh, bonus action lightning arrow, so the spike growth goes away now, guys. Okay. So there's no more spike growth. Uh, I pull out an arrow. I just kind of stick it very close to uh, Fizzbin. It catches on on lightning. <laughs> Guys, look! I'm casting magic. <laughs> That's hilarious. That's some Baldur's Gate shenanigans right there. <laughs> <laughs> I, like, I know I have to use a spell slot, but can we pretend like I just didn't? Um, <laughs> and I am going to aim at uh, the most central peak mammoth. Okay. There is one because, dead center. Yes. It's uh, three, everything within two, 10 feet three. of him takes damage. Okay. One has a moonbeam on it. All right. I don't so know what that means. That's the spell that Brady used. Does it, does it do anything for me? It's no. Just a I'm just, I'm painting okay. the, I'm keeping everyone updated on the image. Um. So you shoot it. Correct? Uh. Yeah. Okay. Let me make sure. Let me. Is it a spell, spell attack? Really I I think it just augments the regular attack. Okay, so roll to hit. Let me see. The next time you make a ranged weapon attack during the spell's duration, the weapon's ammunition of the weapon itself is uh, da, 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 bolt of lightning. Make the attack roll as normal. Uh, 22. 22 hits. Okay, so you take 4d8 lightning damage. Okay. 
And then everyone within 10 feet of you takes half of that. Okay, roll your damage. Oh, wait, no, I'm sorry. Let me make sure. Uh, they have to make a deck saving throw. Everything within 10 feet has to make a deck saving okay. throw. First of roll that your huge damage for me for the original. 4d8. Ba, 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 ba. Da, 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 da. That would be 12 lightning damage. Okay. To the mammoth. All and right. so everything within 10 feet of it takes uh, six if they fail the dex of uh, fi uh, 15. Okay, again, the rangers fail and the peat mammoths <laughs> succeed. Oh, stupid mammoths. <laughs> It's hard to dodge when you're on their backs. Just kind of stuck there. But they're so big. How are they moving so fast? It's terrifying. Isn't it? That's why the uh, the archers are missing. They they can't even stand properly on these mammoths. <laughs> they're just across the field. <laughs> yeah. All right. That is where we're going to end for the night. Oh, I have one more arrow. My apologies. You go right ahead. <laughs> Um, do any of, does anybody on the battlefield look weary? Anybody looking bloody? No. no. Okay. I was just trying to see who's, everybody who I would attack who's with standing it. is juiced. Yeah. Um, awful. I don't even know if this is gonna hit anybody. Uh, the the archer on top of the Pete Mammoth that I just shot. Okay. Uh, 16 to hit. 16 just hits. Okay. All right. Cool, cool, cool. Uh, he takes six damage. Okay. And then I would like to ask uh, uh, the DM here, is there any sort of cover that puts me within 30 feet of most of the things? You can dash to one of the nearby trees that's wild and out. Okay, yeah. Okay, so you kind I of dash <laughs> forward. 30, yeah, I have 35 feet of movement You're, speed. Yeah, so. and you are near Willow, two mammoths, two rangers, another mammoth, and I guess Jake. And then behind, uh, how much cover are you giving me? I'm giving you half cover from all so from certain ones. Two. As yeah. much as a yeah. wacky waving inflated alarm failing tree man gives you. Okay. Uh, does it also um, target um, allies? Okay, I didn't think so. Yeah, and I, Albert was too far away from them too, so I'm just gonna bring Albert with me for now. He just scurries behind me. All right, that's where we'll pick up. <laughs>